back, ladies and gentlemen, to GKK. If you watched the free broadcast there for the pay-per-view, uh, before the pay-per-view, thank you, thank you so very much. That was qualifying. Wow. Chris, hey, that speed. was... <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. That was That's insane, right? A 12.60. By Evan C. That's three tenths faster than what he did. Okay, that's almost a uh, a full, almost a full half a second faster than what he did in June. Mm -hmm. That was three tenths faster than what he did in earlier today, and it was just, dude, outrageously fast, and it yeah. was crazy, man. Yeah, I him. could, I could not believe, you know, what, um, I mean, just watching the speed. Who we did not see, Chris Hager, yeah, defending that, UAS Grand National Champion. Yeah, issues on that machine is the. Uh, yeah, that's his younger son, right? Yeah, Cole that Hager Cole, in the 3Z. Yeah, but the 4Z of Chris Hager yeah. did not see him. Now, we talked that's, a little bit earlier and stuff, too, about he was um, having uh, – he had a, had a mechanical issue uh, earlier. Yeah, in know, practice today. Yeah, in practice, and maybe that's uh, just – It could have ended his weekend. I mean, it sucks to come um, all this way to end it in practice, but as like we talked about it earlier, I talked about it earlier, like that's the, the downside of these big motors like this. Uh, it's just – you, they're, they're, you're riding the Knicks to a ticking time bomb for the most part. Some, sometimes, sometimes you can go through a whole weekend, you can go through a couple of races and not have a problem, and then you get in there a weekend like this and just have a bunch of issues. We've seen a qualifier have a big issue, and we smell smells you're not supposed to smell at a racetrack. So I think, I think it was a bad clutch. Yeah, and that was on uh, that was on uh, Jordan Stout mm -hmm. on his twenty yeah. machine on the yeah, right yeah, yeah. right chassis. Um, if you kind of hear us uh, kind of pausing a little bit. We are just now in our eating break. Yeah. So we apologize for that. So. I'm fat. I'm hungry. I'm Man, ready. I am I'm with ready you. for some racetrack french fries. What is not happy right now is Bishop. And you see that sun coming out? <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing pants. Black, hold on. Black pants. A black shirt. I'm wearing your shirt. I know you're wearing my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're wearing his shirt. <laughs> oh, wait. Is it really? Is We're it, going back to the 2XL days. Is it the, is the, the triple the XLs X? and stuff. Or is that the XL? I think you're just skinny and <laughs> tall and skinny and it's not just, an XL. <laughs> man. You like a like a baby gap small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back the two thousand big T shirt days of hip hop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get her <laughs> get her dunk funky now, fresh. <laughs> now you need your forty X <laughs> forty forty pants to go along with it. Oh man, all the way down to his knees. Uh, yes. He ain't got no butt. Huh? He ain't got you don't need to. <laughs> I mean, he just he just gangster in it though. Yeah. Uh, he uh, G status. <laughs> he is he is by far uh, the best person I've ever had. He I mean he just ran and got us food. He runs you my know, hero today. Yeah, today he's running a camera. I'm running uh, everything else on the back production side. Um, which yapping is, along with me. Yeah, yapping along. It, it, I'll tell you what. I need like four or five different other people. <laughs> just to, it is crazy. I mean it's just I mean you know to put on this production it's quite a bit quite a bit of work, but. We do it with just the two of us, and then yeah, you know when I mean, we bring do when you bring you on, a tremendous job. I mean, some of the teams that I've worked with before, I mean, you, five, six people, and mm -hmm. they bring along, and then y'all just come out here with two of them in a in a suitcase, and y'all ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's plug and play, and we're just. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, you look at it and stuff. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it, it's as good or as better than some of the big box stores, and I mean, that's that's and, all. I mean, that's all you can ask for. I mean. Just to be as competitive as them, y'all do a heck of a job. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Just from what I've seen, who I've worked with in the past, I mean, I, some of the best I've worked with, as far as my opinion. You're just getting paid. You're huh? just getting paid. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, I got kissed the boss's butt a little bit. Hey, so. no, it's all good. <laughs> uh, I no, know I, where my money comes from. I won't, I won't make everybody happy. Wait, does your money money jiggle jiggle or does it fold? <laughs> it folds. My money folds. <laughs> I mean, you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, we're having a ton of fun out here at GKK. Jordan Carter Complex, man, presented by the Carolina Unlimited All-Stars right here for the 2022 All-Star Grand National. Man, it is um, by far. I want to thank all of our sponsors, man, all, all of them down there in that lower third that keeps on scrolling by. If you know them, hear from them, buy products from them, let them know that you saw their name here on uh on uh, Dirt 360 TV's coverage of the 2022 UAS Grand Nationals here at George Carney Complex. It's it's fun. It's crazy. Um, we're having, I mean, it, it's been a blast. Yeah. But now. Beautiful day at the races. We had wind, cloud cover, all the way through qualifying. Mm -hmm. Now it's sunny. Yeah. Clouds are gone. Yeah. This track has <laughs> just changed. It's starting people to bake in the sun, starting to get some bite laid down. People are scratching their heads back there. From oh, yeah. The people out there that's like, what just happened? 
Yeah. And that's, uh, that's the beauty of racing in the southeast. It can go from being 70 degrees and cloud cover to 90, and you're ready to <laughs> jump in a pool because it's so hot outside. So uh, Seriously. I mean, it is, it's, it's just crazy. Um, but we want to sit there and, and thank, you know, everybody that has been a part of this, uh, you know, here at GKK. Um, Stumpy, of course, Matt Green for the Carolina Unlimited All-Stars. Uh, bringing us, I mean, if you guys didn't follow us a little bit earlier on the free broadcast for qualifying, uh, we're in an awesome tower up here that they, you know, that, yes. that they built. I mean, this this thing old, is the savior of the weekend. It, it, beats, it, it about got my there. attention real quick. This Erector <laughs> set got my attention. I thought saw my life flying. Yeah, hey, yeah. Bishop did it earlier. Toes. Bishop I done it. And we all laughed at him, and then yeah, I should have <laughs> done it right back. And what we're talking about is they so where these metal grates and stuff are up on top. They they aren't like extremely tight fit. I mean, they are, but. One kind of slipped a little bit, and my chair leg fell through the – Straight it into was, it. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fun. It was exciting. It, it, you say it, it was fun. It was not fun when it happened. No. <laughs> you I, thought you were going I, to the ground. I'm counting my blessings right now because I saw, I, saw, I saw earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you saw God today. Mm -hmm. God but, was not my friend. Yeah. About fall through, but it's still – I mean, it's, so, it's still the savior of the weekend. I mean, getting us up here over the turn one, getting to see all the action and the beats being in that place over there. <laughs> <laughs> the flag stand it's just yes ex the more people you get up there the <laughs> sketchier it gets and it is sketchy with two people in it so <laughs> we talked about it earlier any kind of movement you feel it through the whole entire flag stand and this thing is sturdy it's planted you can't feel somebody walking up the steps it's it's very nice very very nice the tent get covering us from that georgia sun right now you can yes go. that's that's my blessing mm -hmm. that right there that's all i cared about yeah. as long as we weren't baking in this sun yeah. and it that was because in june we were baking in the sun there's mm -hmm. no doubt trying to find any kind of shade that we can get to and then it just gets worse and worse as the day goes on until about five o'clock and then we start cooling down a little bit and then it feels like it's 12 degrees compared to when it was 90 degrees out so <laughs> well we're going to take a short little intermission ladies and gentlemen we'll watch some uh, some of our sponsors uh commercials here play a little bit of music and stuff for you we'll be right back with you we're going to take a little bit of lunch break but uh we're glad that you're here live on dirt 360 tv the live coverage of 2022 UAS Grand Nationals here at GKK. We'll be right back with you. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate that uh, a little short little intermission. We are going to get ready to run the national anthem here for you guys. Yeah. 
We appreciate you guys so, so very much for uh, for sticking with us here at Dirt 360. Maybe if I unmute my, unmute yours, unmute my, yeah, we got we got We're you. We're good to go now. Awesome. <laughs> we can talk. I can talk. You can talk. Everybody can talk. I sure, I sure hope so, cause yeah, we were we were good during practice. Yeah. Now, now, now's the show. I mean, yeah, are we man, are we ready to go? Losing our mind. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You slowly lose your mind throughout the day, but by the time by the time like all the mains come around, we'll get it back it back together. I can't even talk right I now. I think I I think <laughs> I was scared because I needed food. Yeah. <laughs> we're shoving hamburgers in our mouths, and they're talking about doing national anthems and stuff. I was just focused on eating. We are getting ready to roll our first heat, couple of heat races of the evening. First heat race is going to be the Junior U.S. Division, followed by two U.S. heats and then Yamaha heats. So just one Junior U.S. heat race coming up. Got a lot of got a lot of really, really good competitors. Evan C., quick time overall at 12.60. We talked about it just a second ago. I mean, Blistering speed. I mean, they, it's uncomparable to the speed they have here at Georgia Carter Complex. 80, 90 mile an hour by the end of the back straightaway. Sorry. 80, 90 mile an hour by the time they get to the end of the back straightaway. I mean, and then just ripping through the corners here at Georgia Carter Complex. A 1260 around this almost quarter mile racetrack. I mean, we've seen it three tenths faster than what he did in practice. And he was two tenths faster than what he did here in June in practice. So almost half a second faster completely over overall from June. And He's got a stacked field of about 30 of them behind him, trying to see if they can get to that 1260. Um, our junior UAS is going to be the first ones to come up here shortly as we get and try to get them to the grid before we do the national anthem and everything. Um, try to get them ready to go. We're just waiting on the tower now to uh, to bring the flag down. From my understanding, they're going to bring the flag down into the front of the front straightaway, and then we have an awesome little. Uh, yeah, we'll just follow it, follow it down, Bishop. We'll have an awesome little uh, overlay and stuff for you here. Yeah, and, uh, ready to go. Play the national anthem for you, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. National anthem, prayer, all that, and then followed by some of the best stuff you can see. Some oh, UAS racing. Oh baby, I'm excited. How many people at home right now are excited to see the UAS Grand Nationals? I mean, a year, a year of racing, just to come down to this event. That's 50% of their points for the year, so this is a big event when it comes as far as points and everything. So they've been ready to go. Evan C., all the groups here, everybody that comes to the um, the road to the U.S. The US Grand Nationals uh, here in June in Georgia, at Georgia Carney Complex, a big test in tune, and Evan C. come out on top that weekend. Uh, swept the trifecta, qualified on pole, won the dash, won the main event, and – I'm sure he's wanting to repeat, but he's got a lot of really, really stacked competitors behind him. Him, Robbie Yao, it Jonathan was Cope. I mean, all of them. Crazy to watch on how fast he was. Yeah, it was crazy. I, mean, I thought I. I mean, to, to be honest with you, I mean, I did not. I didn't expect a 12.6 no. to to be in there. I expected you know the 12.9, but then once he decided to you know bypass that, it was just yeah. it, well, was, it was it was insane. A 12.70 before that, and I'm like, if see. Even comes close to that. That's going to be a fast lap, and he knocked that one slam out of the park whenever he hit the racetrack here today. Yes, sir. I'm um, just getting our heat race lineups. First heat race is going to be that junior UAS division. Then we got six heat races for your UAS class, followed by two for Yamaha. We're getting ready to roll them on the speedway, getting ready for our national anthem here very shortly. Just trying to stay in contact with the tower and everything, make sure they have all everything up there ready to go as far as the flags and everything like that so they can give us the best show we can here on Dirt360.tv. Thank you to Marshall Gaylord for bringing Dirt360 TV. I'm sorry. I want right. to keep doing that, so just correct me every time. Just talk junk about me. I will take it gladly. <laughs> I deserve it. I'm trying my best to get it right, but <laughs> I struggle. I'm not a smart man. <laughs> but – Dirt 360 TV on Facebook Live. Thank you, everybody. I finally got it right. <laughs> it took me four times, and you screaming and hollering at me to get it right, but I finally got it right. Hey, by, by the end of the night and stuff, I think you might have Don't get, you might have this right. Don't give me too much credit. I'll probably still <laughs> mess it up the last time we ever, <laughs> before we signed out, I'll probably still mess it up. So, uh, Like I said, we got six heat races for the UAS coming up. Then we got B mains, C mains, D mains, all that good stuff. I think we get all the way down to C main as we get our junior U.S. competitors lining up on the grid right now, getting ready for our 
first heat race of the evening. You've got five of those junior UAS divisions. Allie Young going to be your pole sitter in that one, a 12, a 13, 632 for a quick time. Not to be confused with Evan C's 12, 60 as he ran earlier. Again, that's just so much. There's so much speed in this racetrack here this weekend at Georgia Karting Complex. And it's sure to just keep getting better and better and better and better as the night gets on. They start laying down the, the start laying down some rubber, laying down some prep and everything. And then I was, we're getting ready to go for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see? What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the National anthem here at Georgia Carney Complex, getting ready to roll our first or our first heat race of the evening. That was in, that was incredible. Mm -hmm. What an amazing voice and stuff of that young lady right there. <laughs> Sounded almost like she was a professional. Really? I, I mean, I'll it, tell you, it really there's a lot of talent out here yeah, in it, Georgia it Carolinas. You know what I mean? Hey, you, you didn't and only that? 12 years old. Only 12? That's, what, that's my. That's what I. That's what I was told. Hey. She got vo <laughs> <here>. she <laughs> got vocals like that. I'll tell you what. Yeah, she got a future ahead of her. That's for sure. Yeah, she does. Maybe in the music industry. Maybe, maybe <laughs> at least some, some kind of singing. So some maybe kind. all she does is sing at church or something. I don't know. Hey, listen, you can't go seven blocks without hitting a church. No, no, they're everywhere. It's I'm every surprised there's not one in the infield here. They, well, you, we just had gospel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing that the South produces a lot of is, is really greasy food in churches. So, getting ready to roll our first main event of the evening. You see all the track officials in their stations. Memories by B Photography on the front straight away. Getting ready to get that picture of that rollout. And our first main event is the Junior U.S. Division coming up for their heat race. All right, Junior UAS, we're just talking a little bit to the officials and stuff. Want to make sure everything is all set, ready to go for you guys. And it is, man. It is going to be one heck of a race. Junior UAS heat race number one. Ah, it's here. It's hey, here. Can you believe this it? This is what we've been waiting for all year, the UAS Grand Nationals, and this is our first heat race of the weekend. I, I'm but excited. Let's let's read them off. Who, start, who do we have, Chris? Starting in the fifth spot in the 27, found out she was a – she is a she. Oh yeah. Oh, you know we 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 got we got told. 
the Tyler Rose Bowl. Uh-huh. Uh, she qualified a 14-3-3-2, starting in that fourth spot. And the number seven will be Seth Green, a 14-100. Starting third, the double zero, Bryce Overton at a 13-8-46. Second will be the number three, Simon C, at 13-8-22. But a blistering lap. She's going to lead off this heat race in the 015. Allie Young, a 13-6-32. And you can hear the roar of the engines coming up. Yes, sir. The first heat race for the UAS Grand Nationals. Rolling on the speedway now. It's going to be the junior UAS as we get five of them rolling down. The wing cart, Simon C. Look at that Emory. speed. Look at that speed camera coming out of turn number four down the front stretch, Chris. That is going to oh be awesome. Gosh. That is going to be one of the things that we're going to watch all night tonight. I cannot wait to see. You can see the pull down mood of make the lead, pass for the lead, everybody. And you can see the junior UAS division rolling around the speedway here. One cart we do not have is a double zero Bryce Overton is not on the speedway. Well, they told them if you weren't up there, they're going. Yeah, they, they're they, are not, they, they are not messing around tonight. I want to sit there and say thank you for Kevin White. He says let's go uh, Tyler Rose in the 27. Absolutely, Kevin White. Team 31, man, racers helping racers. Huge, huge part of Dirt 360 TV. Want to thank those guys so, so very much for being a good and a great uh, supporter of our group. Two by two through three and four and not green. Sure not sure if they're going to go ahead and do that, that one or not. That was uh, – I think Simon C tried to just play that off so he could get in line a little bit faster, but race officials did not like that. They want them stacked <laughs> up side by side Man. whenever they go into three. And Simon tried to – he just said, I'm just going to drop to the back and let them go and see if I can run them back down. But track officials didn't like that. Maybe they're giving Bryce a little bit of time to get to the grid. Maybe he had an issue, but he should start third. Ah, C's having a little bit of issue now. Uh -oh. C is having some issues over there in turn three and four. He sits back down. I think he's done his water, waiting for his dad to come out there and crank him. They do have one of the... There we go. So, they're trying to get him lined up. Haven't went green flag just yet. And you can already see that Georgia Clay starting to dry out on that front straightaway. Yes, sir. Playing a, a lot little of... Bit of well, what we used to call rubber, but apparently it's not rubber no more. That's tire treatment. Yeah, that's prep. That's all prep, man. Well, that right there is just getting it. it get, it's getting run off. The drag's starting to dry out, starting to get that moisture pulled out of the, pulled out of it. So, yeah, that's mainly tire prep. But I mean, that's some rubber too. That tire prep, you can tell a little bit of a difference in color as far as tire prep. Tire prep's got a little bit duller color to it than as far as rubber does. That to me looks like rubber though. Getting that. Uh, Getting that cart up just a little bit, getting it off the clutch. Hopefully he can uh, dial that in. Trying to get it fired back up. they got about four of them down there. Ready to pick it up and see if they can't get this heat race going. See if we can get a camera angle and stuff on those guys working down there. Oh, there we go. Bishop great, on the money. Great shot by Bishop, man. It's go time. Let these guys... Uh, let these guys, instead of running on their clutch, they're going to kind of let them uh, let it breathe a little bit. Yep. Get them slowed down in three and four. Is trying to push that number three of Simon C off. But Simon C is done. Looks like they're going to have to pull it behind the fence. Good news is, just the heat race. Just heat race. Yeah, so worst two, case scenario, he can them. start his fifth. Yeah, got a couple of so, them. So he gets one more shot at it. Coming right at the time, he's about to start shocking on the field. But Simon C has a lot of speed in that cart. He was supposed to roll off P number two. Now he's about to start fifth in the main event. So... It's going to be Ali Young, Let Tyler us. Rose, and Seth Green, your three cars to go. You're ready to go racing. Nose tail. Speed cam coming out of turn number three and four. Chris, here we go. Green flag is out on the UAS Grand Nationals, and it's going to be Ali Young leading them off into turn number one. Now it's a little bit of a breakaway down the back straightaway. Now there's three drivers starting to get spread out for heat race number one here today. The two young ladies, Ali Young, Tyler, first and second. Yep, Seth Green in that third spot trying to track down Tyler down Tyler Rose down the back straightaway. About a five-part length disadvantage for Seth Green. He works his way into three and four, but Allie Young out front in the 15 She's laid down a blister and lap. Oh, you can hear that power get planted down the front straightaway here at Georgia Carding Complex. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't get enough of it. If we could crank up the whole time, I would be happy. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't have a job, but I would be happy. Right. But, but out. Battle starting to heat up that second spot. Seth Green has tracked down Tyler Rose down the back straightaway now. About a cart length, two cart length separation. Seth Green with a big shot down the back. A bomb a turn number four, halfway down in heat race number one of the day's events. Allie Young with about a half a track length now. 
over your second and third place drivers. She's now coming across the start finish line that time around. Little past halfway as they work their way down the front right away, second and third place. Tyler Rose and Seth Green. Green gets a good run in the corner, but just cannot keep it to the back one of their 27 of Tyler Rose. They work their way across. Seth Green on everything he can to hold on that number seven in the turn number one. Tyler Rose trying to hold off Seth Green. Seth Green slowly makes the chase. The white flag out for Allie Young, and she is on a Saturday evening cruise here. Man, I tell Georgia you what, she has, she has found something in that cart from earlier and stuff. Now here she comes out of turn number four, right past her speed camp. She'll take the checker flag the first night tonight. And that, I mean, a do in dominating fashion, a half a track advantage in an eight lap heat race, you can't. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be, that's gonna be a rough main event if they don't figure something Woo! out. I'm sorry to say Man, that outcast group has found something in those chassis and stuff tonight. Last time that they were out, they found something and it is just, it's just exploded from there. Yeah, I mean, they, they showed it. They were here at the Test and Tune earlier this year at the Road to the Grand Nationals here at Georgia Karting Complex, and now that has transferred to today. And my gosh, what a butt woman. That's <laughs> right there in that heat race. UAS heat race coming up next. So We got a couple of these. Yeah, I got six heat races and then a dash coming up later for your UAS drivers. Top four from the U.S. qualifying went straight to the dash, and so now your heat race is coming up. Heat race number one is going to be the 54 of Terry Holyfield, the 15J of Justin Jones, the 15JR of Thomas Dacus, the 66 of Nick Durham, the 17 of Mike Heising, and Ernie Kaufner with no number beside him. But I don't think Ernie took a lap earlier today, so I don't know if there's issues on that card as well as we get ready for heat race number one. Again, six heat races. Top Two from this heat race will go straight to the A main. Third and fourth will go straight to the B main. Everybody else will go have to go to the C. And then we will see. It's going to be fun and exciting, isn't it? I mean, you got some some somebody's going to have to play the al alphabet soup. Have to come from the C and see if they can't make their way to the A main. And uh, I mean, it could be somebody like. I'm trying to find his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're perfectly fine. I blanked on what I was doing for a second. But some of them, some of them that get, didn't get to qualify had transponder issues, just missed it, or had a motor issues and stuff like that. Some might come from that C main, make their way to the A. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see as we get these drivers set down, ready to go for heat race number one. Terry Hollifield is going to lead them to the green flag. Him and Justin Jones and that 15J going to be your front rows. We get you can see that 15J right there on the grid area getting rolled around. Set it as you can feel that. Yeah. You can hear that wind <laughs> whipping up. If we if we if we turn the if we turn the track mics off and stuff like that, you can't. Yeah. Can't hear. I it. thought it was this mic, honestly. No? I'm not sure. <laughs> no, we could. Because it was blowing pretty hard whenever that happened, and it sounds like we a tornado is coming through. We we put a uh, just for the fans at home a crank it up mic and stuff down there, so it, uh, it it's a little bit more powerful than uh, you know than our headset mics and of mm -hmm. course like a regular static mic or whatever. Just so when we do crank it up. Uh, well, that's been my favorite addition. Oh, my Just gosh. hearing those motors come down the front <laughs> straightaway. And the Yamahas and stuff, man, it's just they're second to none as far as sound. Yes, sir. Just it's, It sounds so amazing. UAS. <laughs> that's all you can say. <laughs> UAS heat race number one coming up. Yep. Then it'll be heat race number two. Then the Yamahas, the UAS, UAS heat race number three and four after that. Limited Outlaws, heat race one and two. And then five and six of heat race of UAS. Mm -hmm. Then they got the Dash. The then dash. the Dash for cash. That's going to be crazy. Yeah. That is going to be fast as four, man. Straight into the into that dash for cash. I mean, I think all of those are in the 12-second bracket. Do we know now. what it's up to yet, the money-wise? I, I do not know. A couple dollars? Uh, a couple at least. All right, well, okay. Yeah. I know it's $200 to at least start the A main, so well, I did see that. Where's my cart? <laughs> right, I'll start in the back of a heat race. Let's go. Yeah, I'll start and park. Is that is that how <laughs> right. they used to do it? Just start, just do a start and park. Morgan Shepard, this mess. Yeah, I'm good. I'll, I'll tow money. It's good. To I'm go. good at parking. The starting stuff might be an issue, <laughs> but I can park it. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting to see how these. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how these oh. heat races play out. I mean, it's the first time on the racetrack all weekend, as far as like actually in a racing circumstances. So. 
Yeah, and anything I'll, can happen. One contact thought, could put you from being comfortably in the A main to having to come from the back of the C or something like that. So just see how see who's very aggressive, who's not aggressive, who who just is patient and just trying to finish out the heat race and just trying to lock himself in. Top two, the only one that goes straight to the A. So yes, sir. I'm sure that battle for seconds is going to be one that you're going to keep an eye on. The, you want to keep the eye on the whole time. So as we get our first heat who, race, who's, fired in this, up, who's in the heat race? Terry Hollifield going to be your pole sitter. Justin, Justin Jones, Jones, Thomas Dacus. Nick Durham. Keep an eye on Nick Durham in that 66, man. He is going to be somebody to watch and stuff, too. So, Mark, uh, hey, Sung, he's yeah. going to be somebody to watch in that 17 yeah, I mean, machine. Is that. There isn't no slouches as far as heat races here this weekend. I mean, everybody's got pretty stacked fields. You can see that action camera coming off a of turn of four as they make their way out in the front straightaway. Woo! I love it. Love you it, can love see it. them drivers getting, getting their handshakes in, trying to act like they're buddies before the start of this race, <laughs> and then we're going to see who, who's really friends when they go Wait. up into turn one three wide. You mean there's buddies? <laughs> huh? They, they claim to be buddies. <laughs> they're shaking hands like they're friends, but we'll see. Like I said. You're my buddy? <laughs> yeah. Pal, friend, yeah. enemy. <laughs> they could nah, be enemies by the end not, of the night. They're not going to do uh, that they one. They're going to do that one. Hollyfield almost caused them. Wow, the 54 just all of a sudden just stopped. Got a uh, Got they, his wedge doll pushed back in. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a big hit. You can see the rubbing on the rear, right rear tire. Yeah. I mean, he just he just stopped in the whole field. Just yeah, basically. they just never checked up. Yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna pull a stop of it on the back straightaway. Bishop, the man himself, on the camera, trying to get a good shot at that. Gonna see if he can help a little bit or whatever. Got two of them stopped now down there. Yeah, I think the one stopped to help, and now he's got an issue. <laughs> So, like we said, yeah, from track. looking comfortably to the A main to, to going to the C now, so gonna be and we fun. We haven't even went green flag for a heat race yet. Gonna be fun and exciting. It looks like the, the oh, 54 on. got uh, some of that wedge body pushed back out. Ah, that's a little side force. That a little help. bit of bubble. It's all good. Yeah, that's ain't, ain't nothing. As long as it ain't rubbing, we're good to go. Now the guy who stopped to help him, I think that's Mark Highsung, on the back straight away. Going to try to, or maybe it's the Ernie Kaufner. Wow, stop to see if he can help and then then loses power. Yeah, just has to come to a stop. Unbelievable now. Now we're going to double him back up. Hollyfield Jones will be your front row. Tough break for that number four machine of Ernie Kaufner. Him and Heisen going to be your top. Now green flag going to fly. See the flagman here at Georgia Card Complex likes it, and he does. Green flag will fly. Hollyfield going to lead him off in a turn for one him. And that's going to be Jones. Dyke is your top three now. Jones way up the speedway off a of turn number two. Tries to keep it pointing in the right direction. Teammate coming up right behind him in the field of the 15 machine. Jones way high towards speed oh, cam. Oh, whoa. here we go. And that's why you bring the speed <laughs> cam. Oh, spins wow. right here in the front stretch. The 66 is stalled in the water. Stalled in the water. Yeah. Locked 66. up in that. Firm right there up top on the grass, so caution flag will have to fly. He's got it up and rolling again now. Unfortunately, <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, that was an awesome hey. little. Uh, that speed cam comes comes in handy. <laughs> let's see if we can, let's see if we can get that on on replay here real quick. We're gonna get under replay now, as so. I think we got one lap in the books, no laps in the books. One lap in the books for Hollyfield, him, and Dyke is going to be your top two. Justin Jones going to be third after he slides up big time off of turn number two. Here, we're gonna hold, yeah, we're going to hold time. off on that replay here real quick. Get ready to bunch them back up one more time. Hollyfield going to bring him down to a crawl through three and four up off a of turn number four. Green flag. Is out, and you can see them. And we ain't wasting no time. Dacus to the inside. Hollyfield's gonna get shuffled out of the line now. He's gonna slide back to the fifth spot. Teammates for one and two. The two 15 guys out of the Outcast those, stable. Those two are locked into the A main as they run right now. Now trying to see Terry Hollyfield trying to see if he can't get back to the front of the pack. He works his way up off turn number two. Dacus Jones right now first and second. Trying to see if he can hold on to that race lead. But Jones with a big shot through one and two, trying to capture his teammate down the back straightaway through three and four up off of turn number four. Now nose to tail for your race lead here in this heat race number one for your unlimited all-stars. Harry Holland has worked his way back to the four spot, trying to work on the back bumper of that 66 machine of Nick Durham. 
Trying to see if he can't work his way back to the A main, but he's going to have to get run down them two 15s out front. Jones and Jacobs have a lot of speed. Nick Thurman, Terry Hollyfield. Battle for third and fourth now on your, on your screen. Big O shove now from the 54 all the way to the 66. Trying to see if he can navigate around. Trying to see if he can, they can't run down them two leaders. Hollyfield tries to get underneath him as that 66 of Durham gets a big Oh, Durham just two. lost. Durham just lost something down the back stretch. Looks like an air filter or something all the way sitting over there by the it. tires. I seen a little black dot flip around, so I wasn't sure what that was. Maybe it is air filter as Hollyfield pulls to the back bumper. Hollyfield just he drove into the curb trying to turn underneath that 66 of Durham. White flag will be out, and it's going to be that little 15 JR. Thomas Dake is your leader. Him, Durham. Him. Jones, excuse me, then Durham, your top three, followed by Terry Hollyfield and Dykes will come around Tyson. for the checkered flag out of turn number four. So. Dykes, Jones, Durham, Holyfield, and Haysung. That is your running order, but yeah. Thomas <laughs> All Dacus. the way down, down in the back stretch. He's going to stop. Yeah. Is he going to get it? He's going to get it. Oh, oh he no, tried. he passed. I don't think he can reach it. <laughs> see, if we, see if we can get a shot of that, though, right about there. Uh, back up just a little bit to your right. Right there. Looks like an air so, filter to yeah. me. So. Wow. So Jones and Dacus locked yourself into the, the A main. The two teammates Hall out of that goes outcast. To fourth. He's going to start. And he's going to be in that B main. Him along with Nick Durham going to the B main. And Mark Heisen going to have to go to the C to see if he can't transfer in. But get ready for heat race number two. And the pole sitter in this one, a very familiar face of the unlimited all-star division. Going to be that 12 machine of Robbie L starting in the second 01 of Jared Rickman. Third will be the double zero one of Dustin Stegen. Fourth will be Katie Wilson in the number one. And then 11E of Ryan Ariskin. Going to be your top five. Same deal as the first one. Top two go to the A main from the heat races. Rob Third and fourth will go to the B main, and everybody else goes to the C. Top two from the C will go to the B. Top four from the B will go to the A as we're green flag out. Wow, Robbie, Robbie Yao down. with the hand in the air slowed everybody down. Hey. Got the jump, man. If that wasn't. It worked out perfect for Robbie now as he's trying to settle his self into that A main. Way up the speedway, that double zero one of Dustin Stegen. Tries to, he's going to get back in line right in front of that 11 of Ryan. But Ryan will have to do everything he can to hold on to it. But Robbie Yao off a of turn number four now. Two laps in the book for Yao. And Look who's up the second, the number one of Katie Wilson. Katie Wilson showing some moves. She was fast, extremely fast earlier and stuff, especially in practice and in qualifying. She's going to show how it goes. A little bit loose. Big push out of turn number four. She falls back now to third. To third trying right. back on the inside of the 0-1. Right that zero one of Jared Rickman. Rickman going to be up the second. As we got one around and three and four. Halfway down, seeing the cross that comes out. I hope we're going to get that one pushed up to the top side of the racetrack. That's going to be that number. Spin over there in turn number oh, two. That's, that's, that's going to be Wilson. But no caution's going to fly. That's going to bring. <laughs> is that? That's going to bring the 01 up to the second spot. The 01 and Jared Rickman going to be your top two now. That's going to be the trap, the transfer spot. Robbie Yao, Jared Rickman, and the 01 of Stegen, and the 01 of Katie Wilson going to be your B main. Halfway around this time around for your, for your leader, Robbie Yao, on that number 12, who was second, but now is all the way back down to fourth, but the 01 of Rickman is now second. Robbie will get. White flags out for Robbie Yao. Yeah, Robbie, your leader. Rickman going to be second. Stegen, Wilson. Robbie out now down your back stretch into turn three, four. That is your leader coming to the checkers. Up off a of turn, number four for the final time. Robbie Yao yeah, going to clinch heat race number two here for your unlimited all-star division. So. Robbie Yao yeah, on the back stretch in that 12 machine is your leader. Or is, is your winner of heat race number two. Next is going to be the Yamaha heat race. This is this is one that you got to keep an eye on. This one's a big payday at the end of the day for these drivers. A thousand to win, I'm pretty sure. Um, getting coming up for the Yamaha division as Robbie Yao takes over that first, that second heat race. Justin Jones going to be your first heat race winner for your unlimited All Star divisions. Heat race number one pole sitter, Mikey Kaiser. We seen him he, him come and visit the the action cam up there off of turn number four earlier in qualifying. <laughs> so he's going to be your pole sitter for heat race number one.
He just got he, he just got a little excited is all. Hey, it worked. It's it, it, all that matters. It's all it's all that matters. You can hit anything on the racetrack lap number two as long as you put it on the pole lap number one. <laughs> That's exactly right too. That that action camera has already seen. So we'll we'll put it like this. Chaos Corner yeah. has seen some action yeah. already, and I'm glad that we could bring it to you. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's been my favorite edition. That the the turn it up mics. I mean, it's it's awesome. I love it. Wave your hand going to the green. Hmm. Chris Kim says, <laughs> Ah, hey. There's no he, rules uh, against it. That's a gray <laughs> area. <laughs> it, it, he's not the one that threw the green. Yeah. He was just kind of. I mean, hey, racers are racers, man. But. I've seen it happen I'm before. Not, I'm not saying that I've never seen anything from a Gib before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got some moves from a Gib before. <laughs> Chris Kim, man, <laughs> always hey. great to hear hear from him and commentating. He, uh, he, he's, like I said, the whole Gib clan and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, he had to move, which is now way farther away from the Northwest. Mm -hmm. I think you're all the way down in Texas, I believe now, oh, right, Chris? Geez. And then. Uh, but yeah, his brother uh, Jason Gibb, one hell of a one hell of a racer back in his days. Now he's racing bicycles and stuff, I believe, with his son, and and uh, he does a lot with uh, with bikes with with bicycles. Yeah, I can't do that. I, I, man, I, maybe when I was I younger, need I with could. A motor. I couldn't even do it when I was younger. Really? <laughs> no. <I'm laughs> that, you mean that pedal, I was like that, eight. <laughs> that pedal power wasn't your yeah. wasn't your forte. No, no, no. <laughs> I was good for like ten feet. And then I was, ah. and then I was over with. Uh, if it was a, sh a drag race, <laughs> I'd been all right. But besides that, I was not, not in the good place. Brian says, "Old school racing there." <laughs> That's right. Hey, you gotta get every advantage as you can. And Robbie took his hand yeah, and threw hey. it up in the air as an advantage, and it worked. Just I mean, saying. he shot out of a cannon off a four and maybe never his, had to look back. Maybe his money don't jiggle, jiggle. No, it, it, it didn't fold right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh dear lord, That's so funny. It did not. But. Well, I, I want to thank you guys so very much for tuning in here to Dirt 360 TV's coverage of the 2002 UAS Grand Nationals here at GKK Georgia Karting Complex. Off to my right. You can't see it, but off, off to my side here, Chris <laughs> Williams, man. He is by far one of the coolest announcers here in the East Coast. If you've never heard of him, sorry, you've never been to a real racetrack before. Who's the lineup for this one here for the KTs? All right. Well, starting in the fifth spot, the OH of Brandon Day, starting fourth of 37, and Michael Nicosi. Starting in that third spot, in the number one, Renee Angel, starting second, the number 28, Emma Connor Carroll, and your pole sitter, the one we talked about coming to visit the Chaos Corner, <laughs> 15 JR, <laughs> Mikey Kaiser. Well, I'll tell you what, there's two Pacific Northwest drivers out there, Mr. Day and Renee Angel. Well, Renee showed a lot of speed earlier. She showed a lot of speed in that UAS class, and I'm here certain she is ready to go for – this Yamaha heat race. 20 a.m. of Connor Carroll. That's your outside pole sitter right there, Connor Carroll. I've seen a bunch of people cheering for him on the live feed earlier, so I'm sure they're sitting at home right now watching on Dirt 360 TV. No dot. Yep, there, no, no <laughs> dot. But Connor Carroll's going to have to go to that second spot if he can. Nah, he's trying to I move up, not. I think. No, is he? Uh, he's, close. he's supposed to be second, supposed to be outside the front row, but I guess they're going to let it go. Maybe he wants to be there so he can get in line earlier or something. I don't know. But there you go. The one we're keeping so, our eye on is Mikey Kaiser, that pole sitter, though. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm favoritism or whatever like that, but I got Renee Angel winning this one tonight. Is that your pick? That's my pick. Just for the heat race or for the feature? Uh, for the heat race. We'll, we'll see how we'll see how it goes <laughs> after this. Oh. I don't get know if they're going to let that go. They ain't going to let that one go. Connor Carroll said, I'm going to get my second spot. Oh, issues on the 15. No, I think he's just like, guys, oh, okay. where are you guys going? Yeah, what are you all thinking? I mean, there's not. I mean, there's no. no yeah, the, fi the 15 just said, "Where are you guys going, yeah. man?" I mean, I haven't started, and I, I'm the pool sitter. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna throw a caution to get them all bunched back up. Brandon Day with his hand and his waving his hands, and oh, that is his number is the OH. Oh. So now we gotta get Mikey Kaiser back up to that front row. Renee Angel now wants to go to the front row. She's like, "Hey, you guys can't do this. I'm gonna do it." Yeah. But I believe they have receivers and stuff, too. They're so. supposed to. I know that the the man in charge up there, he said that he has his receiver ready to go. Now that 37 says that he wants to start on the pole. And he's going to sure. start on the outside pole. So they're going to let him go. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever they want to do. It's open field over here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Welcome to Georgia. Yeah. And he's, and he's yeah. still jumping the gun. They going to do it? They are nope. not going to let that one go one more time. I believe and there's a cone. 
I believe there's a cone over there, and mm -hmm. if they can't get this, whoa, we whoa, are whoa, 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 Day. Wrecking. Under caution. What <laughs> happened with Day? <laughs> they are. Uh, we just. <laughs> There's been one person pay attention to the flag a bit, and it's been Mikey Kaiser, and it's cost he him is so too. much. He's been ran over. He's been ran into. <laughs> he just. I mean, does he have a rear bumper anymore? I mean, it didn't look like it. I mean, Mikey or Brandon Day pretty much tried to Brand, monster Brandon truck over him. Almost, almost sounds. It almost looks like Brandon might have a throttle issue because he just pulled into the pits hot. Yeah. So we are lined up one more time. For the heat maybe, race number one of the Yamahas. Maybe single file this time. Huh? Or three wide. Oh, Renee's going to the top. <laughs> four wide. I don't Renee, know. Renee's going to the top we'll, spot. We'll have to do a red plate thing and stop him on the front straightaway and stop him from, yep. start him from a dead start. They're going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> single file him. Renee Angel is going to be your top point. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's try this now. You get maybe two. Maybe this will get it. <laughs> You get two, and oh, then we're still swapping spots. Yeah, he wants to. Uh, oh, now the 28M, he's losing power. I don't know if he's got an issue, or if he's just aggravated with the 37, or nope. what the deal. Connor about. Carroll just looked about down. To come, to a, come to a stop over there in three. Carroll just looked down. Looks like he lost a chain or something. I'm going to push that one behind the wall. Mad. What has started with five, and we now have Are three, you? and there hasn't even been a green flag thrown uh -uh. yet. Uh uh. 15 to Kaiser, he's out of turn number four. Renee is still going into turn three. <laughs> it's been, <laughs> all right, well, hey, welcome here. What hap hey, what is happening here? Uh, uh, we're not sure. We're trying to figure that out ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Pandemonium. <laughs> Listen, we, we, just give you, we just give you the commentary. We can't, we can't, we can't explain to you yes. what's happening out there. I'm not driving. I don't know what they're thinking. No clue. Welcome, Brandon, welcome to the Yamaha class. <laughs> Brandon Day. Green flag. Wow, really? They sent him. <laughs> all of that. <laughs> all of that, and we start him like that. Okay. Okay. So, Kaiser, <laughs> Kaiser, your leader. Renee Angel, really closing in fast. Third is going to be The 37 Nesca. of Nicosa. Nicosa? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. All but right. Mikey Kaiser out front now. He's been about that distance since they dropped the rag as they worked their way up off of turn number two. That's going to be two laps, three laps in the book now for your race leader, Mikey Kaiser. Set on pole earlier today and trying to see if he can't hold on to it, but Renee Angel sounded really good getting that turn number one, trying to see if she can't track down your leader down the back straightaway. Well, I'll tell you what, for Renee had – I'm sure she's going to have a say-so on, on how this started because if she was uh, anywhere close to Kaiser – I think this would be a different story. And I, I, can't, I can't blame her one bit for that, that start. We went through three restarts, and then we called back and then let that start like that go. But I mean, he was already in exiting turn four when they threw yeah. the green flag. Yeah, he was a good – I mean, he was about that distance right there away when everybody dropped the green. And he's yeah. got issues down the back straightaway. Renee Angel now closing up fast, going into turn see. three and four. Renee now closes in from a 10-car leg lead. Now three-car leg lead. Renee right on the right rear bumper of him. You can see Kaiser leading over – and adjusting on that front of that motor in that 15 machine now, it looks like he's got it cleared out. Renee Angel trying to track him down one more time. About a five-car length disadvantage for Renee Angel as Mikey Kaiser holds on to it now. Two laps to go for Kaiser. Angel closing that gap one more time in a turn number one. It's a battle of two now, first and second. There's only people on the track. We started with five. Now we're down to two. Is it going to be white flag this time around? No, I believe they have. Yes, it is white flag this time around for Myers. One more time for Mikey Kaiser. Mikey Kaiser, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Mikey Kaiser down the back straightaway, gets that cleared out on the 15 machine. You can still him, see him lean over and adjust on that carburetor on that 15. They work their way up off turn number four. Checker flag will fly. Mikey Kaiser going to be your winner. Renee Angel going to be second. The 37 and the Coza going to be third. Then it's going to be the 28M of Connor Carroll and the 08 of Brandon, OH of Brandon Day. One more heat race to go for your Yamaha division. Then we'll have two UAS heats and then your limited outlaws. So getting ready. That was a interesting heat race for the Yamahas to start off the day. That was definitely interesting. So, um, see if the heat race number two learned anything from that heat race number one. No, no, come on, no. <laughs> you think they even watched they, it? They just knew how to screw up even more. <laughs> Not saying that they're going to. Oh, but. okay, so now we can run the leader over before we drop the Dude, what off. is <laughs> – I mean, he. If there's a rear bumper left on it, I'll be surprised. I'm surprised there's a tire, motor. I mean, 
Brandon Day just monster I, I trucked him. I don't know what to be happened. Honest, to be honest with you, I think going into uh, one and two right here, I heard him a little bit more on, on the accelerator than than he should be. And he's been—I mean—he's yeah. been around racing for a long time, so it uh, it's unfortunate and stuff. But uh, <laughs> but climbing—I mean, he just—I cli mean, he's climbed him. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. You got to see a good view of Brandon Day's bump, uh, into the bottom of Brandon Day's front nose. Just wanted piece, to make so. sure he knew how to floor pan. Hey, well, he, he did. Kelso <laughs> says, is this a rookie class? <laughs> I, no. <laughs> this is, Yamaha uh, red plate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see Jennifer Carroll. She's got issues. Tough break for, for Connor. He had a really fast piece earlier in qualifying, but did not even get to show his hand right here in this heat race. Well, now we got heat race number two. Keep your eye on that one machine, though, man. Gonna be fast. So that's gonna be Katie Wilson. As we got our, our starting lineup for this one, pole sitter that 44 Caleb Woodward, starting second to 05 of Juan Greeno, starting third is the 1 KW of Katie Wilson, starting fourth with the 40 of Kent Hollyfield, and starting fifth in that 57. Not nah, already gonna have well, issues. He had. Uh, oh, that's the different. That's a 40 gust. The 40 of Kent Hollyfield that has issues. The 57 down there on the bottom. Of row number two, Seth Green, he had issues in qualifying, but now we're going to be green flag racing, and that's how you're supposed to start a race right there. Top three, it nose to tail in the turn number one is that 44 Woodard. He takes over that top spot, Juan well, Greeno. spin over, over there. there. Spin, that's the 57 of Seth Green. He is just not having – if, if any luck, he was having bad luck. Yeah. And it, that foul rips the side panel off of that one, but no caution. Flag will fly. Want to keep this one green flag racing up off of turn number two. What are going to be Caleb Woodard going to be your pole, that pole sitter now is trying to hold on to it. But Juan Greeno trying to track him down. About a four car length disadvantage for Greeno as they work their way into turn number one. Greeno, that 05 slack pursuit trying to track down the 44 out front. But Woodard starting to get settled in on that one. He's trying to start to pull away from Greeno as they work their way off of turn number four. Right. Starting to get spread out. This one doesn't have as much to talk about as that first one did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Willer, though. He, I mean, just the hands. I mean, if you watch his hands, they don't even move. Just barely. That's one thing that, like, you really got to watch. He's got that steering wheel way up in the air, that long 25-inch shaft in that 44 machine, and he's using it to his advantage as they work their way through three and four. Just steady on the wheel, no bobbles, anything like that. The only time it even upsets is when he hits a bump here at the Carding Complex. Great shot from Bishop right there with the follow cam. Watching his hands, man, absolutely wonderful. Coming out of turn three and four on that speed shot cam now. This is this is what I like, man. That is great yeah. view right there. Man, you just get to see how fast they are going. That's off the corner. That's off the that's corner. That's off the corner. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it doesn't look crazy, but that's like them coming back up to speed as white flag will fly for Caleb Woodard. Your pole sitter, he led every single lap of this one. And when they dropped the ride, there was nothing anybody could say as Greeno starting to fall over on the side a little bit as they went into one and two. A bottle turn number four for the final time. Caleb Woodard going to be your pole. He's going to start roll off P number two for your main event. Now we got heat race three and heat race four. And he's got to get right off of that one and go right into his heat race number three for the unlimited all-star division. So. That's right. So you got heat race number three for the UAS coming up next. Oh, you're good. Uh, heat race number three coming up. Caleb Woodard going to be your pole sitter. After just getting done from the Yamaha division, he's going to go straight into heat race number three, followed by Ronnie Benton the second, Jordan Stotts, Dawson Hamdorf, and Hoppy Hoskinson. So it's going to be interesting to see what Jordan Stotts, if he's going to be able to make this heat race. So he had issues in that qualifying. So he's going to see if he can make this heat race number three out. This next two up is going to be heat race number three and heat race number four. For your unlimited all-star division, then we got two limited outlaw heat races, and then the last two heat races and the dash for cash for your unlimited all-stars. Coming up again, just another minor top two from this heat race will go straight to the A main. Third and fourth will go to the B main. Everybody else will have to start in the C main, and we'll go from there. Dash for cash, the only ones that transfer straight today from qualifying. And the only thing that's going to sit there is they get a little bit of extra payday coming up here later at the end of our heat races. Getting ready for our um, at All Star Heat Race number three. Like I said, we'll have to give Caleb Woodard a little bit of time as he just come off the racetrack from that first, from that second Yamaha Heat Race. So, have to give him a little bit of time to get back to that other 44, that 44W, and then get ready to go for Heat Race number three. Adjust his mindset. Make sure he ain't got everything <laughs> ready to go. 
I'll tell you what, it is, uh, I've never, you know, I mean, you, you always expect, you always expect the unexpected, but man, we've definitely, you know, seen some awesome, awesome racing out here yeah. already. And we're not even, I mean, we're into the third heat race of the UAS. Um, Yamaha, first class, heat race number one, was exciting. <laughs> I mean. It was very exciting. To, to, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. I mean, it's. This place has always put on some of the best racing. I mean, I'm sure if you can go to Georgia Carter Complex and look them up on YouTube or anything along those lines, look at the races from the Grand a Road to the Grand Nationals earlier this year. That I mean, was fun, wasn't it? Some great races on. That was I mean, awesome. Ain't no doubt about it. There was tempers flaring, fights in the pits. Woo! Like it was all kinds of mayhem we, down there. We actually had to stop. We thought it was a medical emergency. I mean, it almost turned into one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they were. I mean, there's a lot of tension. Temperature, <laughs> hot day, <laughs> hot heads. That's all. exactly what it was. <laughs> So we get this heat race number three for your own at all star divisions on the speedway. Like I said a second ago, that 44W, Caleb Wood are going to be your pole sitter. Ronnie Benton, the second, going to roll off P number two. Starting third will be Jordan Stotts. And the number 20, S. Tough break. I don't see Jordan out there. And I don't know if he's sitting. I think that's him sitting down in the grid in that white. Well, I remember what we saw a little bit earlier. Yeah, that's with that clutch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So. Hopefully he can make. This heat race, but right now he's not on the speedway. Ah, uh, the 44 of Woodard. Uh oh, he's dead in the water now. That's your pole sitter. Trying to get a crank over that young driver as he tries to push that 44 back to the pits and see if we can't get it fired back up so he can roll off Pete number one for this heat race. So another issue. Supposed to start with six. Supposed to start with five. Now we're down to three. And Woodard, he was going straight. He was sitting in the A main starting spot right there. How about we do something? Whatever. You, oh, I you, love. You, you I ready? love what you're about to say. You ready for this? I'm excited, ladies and ladies and gentlemen. If you're at home, let's crank it up. Done. Ronnie got shot by Cannon. Hadn't looked back since. You can hear that thing bouncing off the chip as they make their way off into turn number one. Bent down the back straightaway. No pressure from Dawson Hamble because he sits second right now at 22H of Hoppy Hoskinson. Your top three. So, so right. Ronnie Benton on a rail tonight, yeah. man. Just looking extremely smooth. Having a great. Uh, probably about a 25 car length lead already so far going into turn three and four down the front stretch. All right, he does eight point in the right direction. He knows he's sitting comfortably in the A main right now. Look at the times though, 13 4 1 7. All the way from a 12 6 that Evan 12, C did 6. earlier. Now we're at a 13 4. Yeah. That's basically a second slower than what they were in qualifying. Yeah, but it's just going to be interesting to see if, if Ronnie got the look of the draw and just, I mean, we had issues with that 44W of him having to pull to the infield of uh, Woodard. So. Uh, it's really interesting to see how these heat races develop going to the dash for cash as Ronnie Benton gets his white flag out now. Benton up off of turn number two. This will put him starting about seventh place for the A main. So, white flag. My ear itched. <laughs> <laughs> and then Benton's going to take that win. 28H of Dawson Handel going to be second. Next up, and then at 22H of Hoppy Hoskinson is going to be your top three in this heat race. Man, so. I... That the, the 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 sound is just. Oh my god! I hope you guys. I mean, let let us know at home yeah, if you guys are if you guys like are it. enjoying it. Uh, if you like if you like that crank it up sound, let us know, man. We love doing that for you. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I mean, if they don't like it, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna break my heart. Right? But, Doesn't I, mean, right. I love hey, it. I I mean, we're still gonna do it, it. So hey, that's all I needed to hear. We we got control. Yeah, you control <laughs> it. So we can go crank. We can crank it up anytime you want. Do whatever we want. <laughs> so heat race number four. Rolling on the speedway, starting in that fifth spot under the B99 of Mark Bergefeld, starting in that fourth spot, the number nine of Ronnie Cox. Look starting it. third, the 23 of Renee Angel. Second. Oh, 
This, this is it. Oh, this, yeah. this is what they didn't want to see, but they wanted to see. It's Renee Angel, Ronnie Cox, right? Out of the yeah. same exact stable. Starting third and four, starting side by side on this heat race. Remember, two out of this transfer. So it's the Northwest, Renee Angel in the 23, and Ronnie Cox in the nine. That is one, or that is, sorry, that is three and four in second row. Do yep. they get the green this time around? Green flag will fly. Matt Bird and Sammy Rosa lead them on. And we're three Ronnie. wide into turn number one. Ronnie Cox trying to go on the high side, man. He almost had it, got pushed all the way up. Renee Angel knew where she had to go, and she went immediately there to the second spot. Angel now gets tracked back down by Sam Rosa as they work their way up on the turn number four. Ronnie's got to make that move now. He's got to sit there and start plucking off the B99. He still has a little bit of time. Look at how that motor just pulls down the back stretch. That thing catches second gear and it just launches. Oh, oh Renee Angel spun. off a of two. Renee, Renee Angel got spun out of turn, oh, number, turn four. number four. Caution flag will fly. Caution will fly. I don't know. I think that was a uh, little retaliation from the 137, but I don't know. I mean, I could be mistaken. That 137 has got a lot of corner speed, but once it gets about three quarters of the way down the straightaway, Angel stuff just launches. So, going to be interesting to see how it stacks up now. Matt Bird, all that going on behind him, he's just trying to see if he can get out there as far as he can. Let's see if we can get a replay on that here real quick. Or caution flag will fly. Uh, too far back though for us. Caution flag will fly. Her will fly. I was uh, back to live coverage and stuff now. We'll try to get that, uh, try to be a little bit quicker on that replay for you guys. But you guys actually at home can rewind that. You have the ability to rewind that. So the 137 of Rosa is gone. Rosie is gone. So does that put Renee Angel back to the second spot? It oh, does. Yeah. Renee and Ronnie, here we go. This is third and fourth. This is where the transfer is. That is the transfer spot. Renee Angel works herself into the AMA now. And now it's going to be Matt Bird, Renee Angel, as she tries to drive it off deep into three and four, trying to run down your race leader of Matt Bird up on the turn for four. Angel needs to realize she is comfortable. Oh, she Ronnie Cox spins over there in turn number Way up the racetrack. Just got in too hard. I'm gonna try to keep that one rolling. He's gonna drop back to the four spot. Still in the B main though. Rosa is gonna be the only one to transfer from the C main from this this division or this heat race. Excuse me, Cox gonna pull it off the speedway. As halfway down for Matt Bird. Ronnie knows that he's got he's got to go back, do a little bit of homework, yep. get that car set back up. Now he's got to go from the B main to sit there and transfer into the big show tonight. But Renee Angel, she is in, and so is the 545 of Matt Bird. Matt Bird now showing how to do a clinic right now. Smooth and fast. Looks like Renee's tires are kind of letting go a little bit. She's slowing down a little bit, but Bird is nothing but fast in three and four, now going into one and two. She burns them up, trying to run them down, and now she's gonna have to take it just be easy on them and just try to roll through and finish out this heat race strong. She's comfortably in that second spot. That'll transfer her to the A-Main as the white flag flies for Matt Bird. Renee Angel comfortably in the A-Main right now. She comes across the start finish line one more time and she'll lock herself into the, the Grand National here at Georgia Carney Complex. I Off. think I think Renee is having a little bit of an issue because she's starting to slow down quite a bit. I think I think really she just knows that she's in. She's, she, she knows she couldn't run down Bird. There's no point in trying to advance her position as far as that. So, well, R Renee came off of uh, some back surgery and stuff here not too long ago. Uh, she's got an L4 vertebrae that is completely um, smashed. So, I mean, doing this or whatever for her is uh, is quite a journey. And I'm sure going into uh, that infield there wasn't something. Uh, yeah, she was looking forward to. Yeah. That her back was looking forward to. And I'm sure sure the bump down here in one and two, you can see them things plant hard once they come through that them bumps down there. So. Next up, going to be your heat race. Limited Outlaws coming up next. Is it going to be heat race number four? That was heat race number four. Oh. I got to get I got to yes. get. That was heat race number four. I thought I was, I thought I was like, man, I had to make sure. This is going to be heat race number four. Caleb Woodard. No? Back. No, this right here is the first heat race for your uh, Limited Outlaw division. I knew that. And we have seen him in, in, a heat, in two heat races. Or a heat race back to back 
one heat race break, and now he's back in it. Caleb Woodard <laughs> pulling triple duty here tonight as he's going to be your pole sitter. Dawson Hamford. Hamdorf, excuse me, I don't know what I was thinking. Hamdorf going to be second. Blake Lester third. Ronnie Benton fourth. Eric Grice and Dylan Roberts going to be your five cards. And this heat race number one for your limited outlaw division. So hopefully Woodard has a little bit more luck in this one as he did than he did in that UAS division uh, heat race. Had a lot of luck in that first heat race for the – or in that heat race for the Yamaha division. I think he took that Yamaha cart went straight to this one. Now we're going to see if he can't pull one out right here. The only one without one of the big side panels at 34. Blake Lester, a local driver around this area. Uh, does cart, cart and graphics for a living and everything. I mean, you can see that 34 is a good-looking piece with that small block open bolts to the side of it. Blake Lester, yeah, with Extreme yeah. Graphics. Yep. Another great sponsor here on Dirt 360 TV. If you look at it, he's running that Dirt 360 TV sticker on the side of his car. Bunch of the guys out here uh, help represent us uh, this weekend. There's that zero of Benton. Making Ronnie, his way onto the speedway. Ronnie Benton jumping from one cart to another. Did it just get warm? Oh, yeah. Sun's back out. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, son. <laughs> oh, we don't play. I guess not. <laughs> that Georgia sun don't it play. Just, it man. It's it, back with a vengeance. It went I heard y'all talk of junk. <laughs> Six carts in this heat race for your limited outlaw division. Five carts in your second heat race for limited outlaws. Then we'll go to our last two unlimited all-star division heat races, followed by that dash for cash. And then that will be a wrap for your heat races here today. The green flag will fly off a of turn number four, stacked up side by side, and then the turn number one. Here comes Blake Lester trying to make a move to the second spot. Underneath that 28-8 to Hamdorf. Hamdorf's going to fill the wrap of the 34 machine. He gets shoved up the racetrack. Now Blake Lester going to be set comfortably in that second. Ronnie Benton going to be third now. They work their way down into turn for one. I don't know who's in this. 44 Woodward, Blake, Blake Lester, Ronnie Benton. Eric Grice had me confused because he has a 54 on the side of it and a 40 on race monitor, so <laughs> I was trying to see who that was. I couldn't keep up for it. He's starting to track down that zero machine of Ronnie Benton down the back straightaway. He's got pool within a cart link now. They work their way off into three and four, but out front. Caleb Woodard going to be and a commanding straightaway lead already over that 34 of Blake Lester. Woodard, Lester, Benton, your top three now. Benton under a lot of pressure from that 54 of Eric Grice. Right, two laps to go for the 44 of Woodard. They work their way down the back straightaway. No pressure from behind as Blake Lester sits comfortably in that second spot. Lester, no pressure from behind as that zero bent and starting to fall under the pressure of that 40 machine of Eric Grice. White flag out as Woodard's done worked over to a half, uh, almost a half a track advantage now over that 34 Blake Lester. And Woodard. Going to shut it down in one and two if he dominates. Heat race number one for the limited outlaw division. Him, Blake Lester, Ronnie Benton going to be your top three. Eric Grice going to be fourth. Dawson Hamdorf going to be your top five, followed by Dylan Roberts. Going to round out that six-cart field. Heat race number one in the books for your limited outlaw division. Heat race number two coming up and some familiar faces out front in this one. And the water with a dominating win right there. That was insane. How bad he beat him right there. About a half track advantage over the 34 Blake Lesser. Lesser. And then even with that second place spot, we'll have to go back to work down there in that 34 machine. So getting ready for heat race number two for your limited outlaw division. Starting on the pole in this one, going to be number three is Simon C. Starting second, the number seven, the Carolina Unlimited All-Star Division cart. 
will be Seth Green starting in the third spot. The 117 of Robert Lehman starting fourth. And the double zero will be Bryce Overton. And your five cart field will be the 8118 of Tim Crump. So the one we don't have on the speedway is going to be the double zero of Bryce Overton. Let's we'll see if we can see if he is going to make it. After this, we'll follow our two unlimited all-star division, our final two heat races, followed by that final dash for cash. And then it's main event time here at Georgia Cardi Complex. Doubled up side by side. Simon C., Seth Green, Robert Lehman, Tim Crump. Now here comes Bryce Overton. He's going to fall into that fourth spot. And we're getting ready to go green flag racing for heat race number two. Yeehaw. Getting ready to go. Caleb Woodard dominated that last year. Have a track <laughs> win. I mean, that was just bad news for the rest of the competition. Now Simon C. going to see if he can't do the same thing. And heat race number two for your limited outlaws now. They're going to bunch up down the back straightaway. C. Green, your front two. Overton. Layman, fourth and third. And then Tim Crump going to be your top five. Looks like one to go at the line. Yeah, one to go at the line, Flegerman. Getting it ready to go. It's go time. Yeah, it got it got a little warm. Yeah. yeah don't play, I'm telling you. From 60 and comfortable to 80 and hot. Hot. <laughs> Muggy, sticky. Ugh. Mm. Imagine, okay, Welcome so, to Georgia. <laughs> I mean, we're in shorts and, and short sleeve shirts and all type of stuff. Imagine what these guys are. You know, some of these guys are wearing leathers, uh, full, oh, yeah. you know, full suits, helmet, gloves. Said next in oven. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we're green flag racing. Simon C gets a good shot going into turn number one. Him and Seth Green now. Seth Green's going to make it to the bottom of the racetrack. But the battle's going to be on for third. Down the back straightaway, Tim Crump. And the 118 jumps to the third spot. Lehman going to be fourth, and it's going to be over 10 your top five now as they work their way up off of turn number four. Oh, that spot's way up off of four now. Trying to see if he can get that power plant and then a double zero down the back straightaway. This is a little bit better run for Seth Green. Now he's right on the back bumper of C. Yeah, C's got a lot of speed in that number three machine, but that seven machine to catch Green trying to track him down. A big slide up off of turn number two. He's going to lose him a little bit of time to see if he can't make it up in three and four. Shows some potential, though, in Seth Green, and that's number seven machine. But look at how C is smooth and fast, just like glass. The 117 now having a little bit of issue. He has oh. his hand up. Green way up the speedway off of turn number two. You can see that big correction in that number seven of Seth Green, and he's just having to hold on to it down the back straightaway. Halfway down for Simon C. Is, that's going to be Robert Lehman. Issues on the 117. He's going to pull it off the speedway. Now the battle's going to be off for third between Tim Crump and Bryce Overton. Overton slings it off in there. He's going to make that pass for third, and he's going to work around Tim Crump. Crump. Whoa, spin right in front of us, right underneath the flight. Right he, our stand. He hit Overton so hard it spun himself out. Two laps to go for Simon C. I guess it doesn't pay to bump and run. No, not right there it didn't. I mean, he destroyed, he tried to destroy that double zero of Overton, and he just, it just looped it around. White flag out for Simon C. No pressure from behind as Seth Green is coming in second, followed by Bryce Overton in that third spot. Down the back straightaway, no pressure from behind off a of turn. Number four, Simon C. Going to be heat race number two winner for your limited outlaw division. Seth Green going to be second. Bryce Overton going to be your top three in this one. And now we're back to our UAS heat races. <laughs> heat race five and six coming up, followed by the dash for cash. That dash for cash will be Evan C., Jonathan Cope, Jason Anderson, and Cole Hager. Cole Hager. Hager. It's all right. We'll 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 learn you. I'm up to teach. I just uh, Southern, so. I'm still trying to figure out why or what happened to uh, Chris Hager, the yeah. defending UAS Grand National Champion. Now all of the I mean all the bells and whistles right now are towards Cole because that's yeah. a, that's the only one out of that group. That's their shot now, and I'm sure. Actually, that I don't see Cole out there. He is not out there. That's going to be Rusty Rossmeyer on the outside of the front row. The two. Cole is in the dash. Cole this is right in the here dash. is heat number five. So, starting line is going to be Rich Hill, Rusty 
Rusty Ross Meyer. Ross Meyer, Brent Messler, Jordan Gardner, Daniel Trent. And we are wasting no time in the tournament one. Ross Meyer trying to see if he can get the back bumper of Rich Hill down the back straightaway. Ross Meyer brings it down to a crawl. Nah, they didn't like that start. Flag will fly. Oh. Everybody checks up. See Ross Meyer going into turn one, got a little bit of nudge, jumped himself forward a little bit, tried to get a little bit extra turning weight. Yeah, it worked. It, it did. Made it, through that, <laughs> made it through that corner and it launched above a two pretty good, too. So we're going to see if we're going to make them double back up. Rich is going to be one single file. Matt, uh, Mike Lane over there, your race officials telling them, hey, this is the start, double file. This is how we go. You don't start until this point. And he is on it. He told him in the driver's meeting and stuff like that. He says, you fail that, you're going to go to the back. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing that you got you to gotta stick to your guns on about. If you can't you can't start a race, you don't get to race it. So, I mean, are we going to get them bunched up one more time? That number 44, Rich Hill. Rusty green flag of V out. And that's going to be a battle in the turn number one at 919. Messler trying to make that move on Rothmeyer. And get it done. Ross Meyer going to pull himself up in that seat, get a good run down the back straightaway, trying to run down your leader, Rich Hill. About a three car length disadvantage in the turn number one. Now Hill slides on the racetrack. Ross Meyer keeps it pinned to the bottom and cannot get off the corner like Hill does. Hill's got a lot of speed in that 44, a lot of straight line speed now as they work their way up on the turn number four across the front straightaway. Ross Meyer way oh. off the racetrack. Hill to the inside, but Ross Meyer trying to make a move. <laughs> Ross Meyer trying everything he can to try to get up underneath the 44 this time around. Rock Hill slid bad in three and one and two now. I'm gonna almost do it again. Ross Meyer, just a lot of speed to the center of the corner down here in this end. Trying to track down your leader up on the turn number four. Now halfway down in this one. That right there is your top two, the 919, way up the speedway. He's going to loop it around and try to see if he can't get it back going. That's going to put him from a B main to a C main. That's going to be Messler right there, spinning over there in turn number four. Your top two is going to be Hill and Rossmeyer. Rossmeyer was your, was your Grand National Points champion last year. Rossmeyer trying to flex his muscles here as he's trying to run down your late leader, Rich Hill. Hill can't. Hold him off right now. He gets through one and two good now. Two laps to go for Rich Hill out front. Front of the white flag this time by that 44 machine. A Rich Hill off of turn number four. One more time around Georgia Carding Complex. Let's see if he can't hold on to this. He race number five win. Down the back straightaway. No pressure from Ross Meyer as he works his way through three and four. That's going to be your A main transfers up off of turn number four. A sticker flag will fall. Hill, Ross Meyer going to transfer to the A. Then it's going to be the 14 of Daniel Trent and the 72 machine of Jordan Gardy. Going to be your top third. And, that's going to be third and fourth. That's going to be the B main of that 919 of Messler. After running third about the whole entire race, going to have a late race spin. That's going to put him in the C main. And now the final heat race of the evening for your UAS divisions. Next up after this will be your dash for cash for your top four. Heat race, heat race number six coming up next. Yep. Heat race number six rolling on the speedway now in your starting lineup in that fifth spot. And the 96 will be Josh Birchfeld. Starting in the fourth spot, number 428 of Jeff Calhoun. Starting third, the 22M of Nick Moore. Starting fourth, second, be the 63 of Ben Taft in your pole sitter. Bo five of Juan Greeno. So that is your starting lineup for heat, the final heat race of the evening here for your unlimited all-star UAS Grand Nationals here at Georgia Karting Complex. Five cars to battle it out for eight laps, and we're getting ready to go green flag racing. Up off a of turn number four flag. We're gonna look him over. Green flag will fly. Juan Greeno with a heck of a start now. That's gonna put him in leading it in turn number one. Followed by a 63 of Taft, the 22 of Nick Moore down the back straightaway, trying to track down your two leaders. Top two transfer to the A main in this one. Third and fourth go to the B, and that fifth place driver will go to the C. That's flag for sure. Juan Greeno out in front. Taft trying to see if he can track him out a little bit. Puff of smoke from that 63 machine of Ben Taft. Nick Moore, this is the closest, one of the closest heat races we've seen so far. Moore and that four again to Calhoun. Trying to see if they can track down that second place driver and see if they can not work their way to the A main here. Above a turn, number four now. Juan Greeno, your race leader. Tap to the bottom of the race. Holding on to that second spot. No pressure from behind as Tap holds.
Bulls walk all the way to it. Nick Moore in that third spot, followed by the 428 of Calhoun. Halfway down, Greeno. Shot out of the cannon, trying to hold on to it. Comfortable lead, about 63. Machine of Ben Tapp as they work their way down the back straightaway. Tapp, Moore, and that issues on the 428. He goes around Calhoun. I didn't even notice that the 428 Calhoun went around. That's going to bring him to the C main. And the 96 of Josh Birchfeld going to work his way to the B. Two laps to go now for the 05 on Greeno. Greeno off the turn, number two, down the back straightaway. No pressure from behind his bent half. As you can see, him work their way up off the turn. Number four, your race leader's way up the speedway. That 428 of Calhoun, white flag will fly. Down the back straightaway for the final time here in heat race number six. Up off of turn number four, your race leader, Juan Greeno. Gonna pull it off. He's gonna be your race heat race winner. Greeno gonna be your heat race winner. Taff gonna come home second. Moore gonna be third. Then that seven to 96, Josh Birchfeld gonna be fourth in the 428. Jeff Calhoun gonna be fifth. And now, the top dogs of this one. The four that are the fastest qualifiers of the evening here for your ultimate all-star division. The dash for cash. About to roll on the speedway now. Starting in the fourth spot, going to be that 3C of Cole Hager. Starting in the third spot, the number 12 of Jason Anderson. Starting second in that 42 machine to be Jonathan Coburn, your pole sitter overall for the unlimited all-star divisions. This and is a 33 Seahawk performance machine, a 12, 6, 81. This is where it's going to get interesting, guys. We this is where... It. I mean, I mean, they're still going to drive conservative, but they're still. I mean, there's a bunch of money on there's the line, on the line right now, so, so they're not going to just let them have it. So I mean, it's going to be interesting to see who can run with Evan C. A 681 to a 761. The separation between first and second. A 972 for a third of Jason Anderson and Cole Hager going to be a 114. Your top four qualifiers in this one. Getting ready to roll. That dash for cash. For the Unlimited All-Stars, this will be your final heat race of the evening. After this, it's all money time. The main event's coming up next after the intermission. Waiting for them to fire those Unlimited All-Star Dash for Cash drivers down on the grid. And as I say that, they fire them. It's go time for the Dash for Cash. Does anything, anybody have anything for that 33 machine of Evan C? I don't know. We're, I mean, that's a 12-6 the last time he was out here. So, Did it, You think they went back to it and started adjusting on it even more? I think they found more speed in it. Does he got a 50 in him? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, with all the sun and the, and the way the things are, I don't know if there is any. So, C, Cope, going to be your front row. Anderson, Hager going to be your second row. And we're getting ready to go for the dash for cash, six laps between four drivers. This will set their top four spots for the A main and the green flag will fly off of turn number four. And it's gonna be a drag race into one and Jonathan Cope wins it. Cope from the outside and Anderson goes around in one and two. Jonathan Cope trying to see if he can hold off to the dash for cash. He jumped out to the early race lead and now Evan C's got some work to do. He works his way off into turn number one, him, C. Hager, your top three down the back straightaway. Anderson going to be that last car coming off of turn number four now. Up off of turn number four for Jonathan Cope now. That's going to be three laps in the book, close to the halfway point in this one. No pressure from behind as Evan C. trying to track down your race leader. Halfway down for Jonathan Cope. Cope, Simon, or Evan C. Cody, Cole Hager going to be your top three now. No pressure from behind as these three get spread out. Two laps to go for that number 42 machine. He works his way off at his under one. Jonathan Cope up onto it down the back trail with a bright yellow number 42. Up off a of turn number four. White flag will fly. Evan C still sits second. Cole Hager going to be your top three now. C trying to see if he can get anything else out of that 33 down the back trailway. No pressure from behind for Jonathan Cope as he works his way. He's going to lead him to the green flag for the unloaded All-Star Grand Nationals. Cope takes it after cash. C's going to come home second. Hager third. Anderson, your top four. And that is a wrap on the heat races and dash for cash here today. Now next up, the money's on the line. The main event's coming up here shortly. 
Absolutely, absolutely crazy, ladies and gentlemen. That is, I mean, you talk about just a uh, awesome, awesome deal um, that we just watched right there. So the racetrack has slowed down a lot. John LeCoe winning that dash for cash at 12.821, his fastest lap. C may have the long run speed in it. His fastest lap was fifth lap of 90 for that 33. So track slowed down a little bit, but still a lot of speed in it, still faster. We're going to go into a quick intermission, ladies and gentlemen, while everybody kind of takes a breath. This is a good time. Go to the bathroom, have, have it, you know, get some popcorn, a drink, whatever like that. You're going to need some popcorn coming up for all these main <laughs> events. It's sure, sure, to be one, sure to be one you do not want to miss. We'll be right back with you. Why do we put up with the blood, sweat, tears, and empty bank accounts? For some, it's point A to point B. But for us, it's part of who we are. That calm, yet exciting sound of the end. An extension of our personality. A superhuman extension of ourselves. Whether it's 180 horsepower or 1800, it doesn't matter. It's all about the hunt. The hunt for the cheapest parts, the fastest time, our friends' egos, the UPS man, it never ends. We are out there drag racing, drifting, slashing corners, 
Some prefer the hard part, and others prefer the exclusiveness. But we all do it for the same reason, to express ourselves and to go fast. We spend quality time with friends and family, conversations learning about technical things or about each other. Late nights in the garage finishing your build and early mornings at the track. That eighth time out and back with your transmission. The day that you get to drive it and feel it perform what you want it. That's the day all the broken knuckles, countless hours and thousands of dollars are truly worth it. Take away cars and you take away us. It's our reason to be. A car is freedom, getting away from home, meeting new people and going to new places. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apparently small block open. Who wasn't on the, who wasn't ready and on the grid is going to become out next. Starting lineup for this heat race, starting the fifth spot, the 118 of Brandon Rutledge, starting fourth, the double 01 JR Jared Rickman, third, the double zero Bryce Overton, second, the 117 of Robert Lehman, and that th pole sitter, the 34 Blake Lester. Lehman going to clear. Lester on the outside now, work his way down the back straightaway, nose to tail for that top spot up off of turn number four. Lester trying to see if he can navigate around that number 117 of Robert Lehman in the turn number one. Lehman with a big slide. Lester going to close the gap. They're going to lose the nose of that 34 machine up off of turn number two. About all issues on, that is going to be the double zero of Overton. That double zero, Bryce Overton up and off the speedway. Now he's going to pull it to the top of the speedway in turn number one. We're going to keep this one green flag racing up off of turn number four. Lehman, Lester, 01 of Rickman. For 118 of Trump, your top five, four. Down the back straightaway, no pressure from behind for that 117 of Robert Lehman. He works his way across the start finish line now. Lester started to get the 34, picks back up the speed now up off of turn number two, trying to track down your leader. He got within about four car lengths now, trying to track him down just a little bit more up off of turn number four. Big slide by Lehman. That's going to put Lester in the mix. Lehman trying to hold off the 34. Blake Lester down the back straightaway. Lehman with a big run down the back straightaway, halfway down in this one now, up off of turn number four. Lester looking on the inside. He's got it. Push Raymond all the way to the top side. Now he'll take over that top spot. Right. Blake Lester in that 34 machine, the 117 goes back to second. Yeah, Lester's going to hold on to it up off of turn number four. You can see him reach over and adjust on that 34's carburetor, trying to get a little bit more speed out of it. Brandon, Brandon Rutledge, now that third spot, starting to come in to uh, try to battle for second. Trying to come in playing that 0-1 of Rutledge. Now Rutledge goes around. Big spin off of turn number four, trying to get him picked back up to speed as Lester and Lehman, your top two, down the back straightaway. Blake Lesser holds on to it through three and four up off a of turn number four now. He's swatting it down on this one as Blake Lesser just trying to hold on to the race lead in turn number one. Nine laps complete of this one as they work their way up off a of turn number two now. Turn number four now, two laps to go. Into turn number one. I think this is the main. Yeah, this has to be the small block open main because it's 12 laps. But all of turn number four, white flag out. Blake Lester going to be leading him into turn number one. Lester, Lehman, your top two up off a of turn. Yeah. Yep. Lester down the back straightaway for the final time here in the small block open division. Up off a of turn number four, checkered flag in the air. Lester takes the win. Blake Lester, extreme decal, sponsor of that number 34 machine, will take the checker flag this time. Lehman going to come home second. Rutledge going to be your top three. That's going to be a wrap when your small block opens. All right. So now is it intermission? Uh, I thought it was intermission before. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we're at intermission now. The grid is empty, so we're going to roll with our <laughs> intermission. I'm going to go with intermission. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's try the intermission one more time. We appreciate you guys so, so very much for sticking with us. And, uh, yeah, we'll try this intermission one more time. What do you think? Yeah, I like it.
Why do we put up with the blood, sweat, tears, and empty bank accounts? For some, it's point A to point B. But for us, it's part of who we are. That calm, yet exciting sound of the end. An extension of our personality. A superhuman extension of ourselves. Whether it's 180 horsepower or 1800, it doesn't matter. It's all about the hunt. The hunt for the cheapest parts, the fastest time, our friends' egos, the UPS man, it never ends. We are out there drag racing, drifting, slashing corners. Some prefer the hard part and others prefer the exclusiveness. But we all do it for the same reason, to express ourselves and to go fast. We spend quality time with friends and family, conversations learning about technical things or about each other. Late nights in the garage finishing your build and early mornings at the track. That eighth time out and back with your transmission. The day that you get to drive it and feel it performed like you want it. That's the day all the broken knuckles, countless hours and thousands of dollars are truly worth it. Take away cars and you take away us. It's our reason to be. A car is freedom, getting away from home, meeting new people and going to new places. The challenge of building things and making things work. Even though more often than not, that wrench is getting thrown across the garage. Some say poor financial decision. Some say big ego, which for some may be true. Some dare say pointless. But for us, it's an addiction and a good one. And what the hell else will we be doing?
Hi, my name is Joe Constance with Joe's Racing Products. My company has been producing high quality racing components in the USA for over 30 years. We know the commitment and determination it takes to win races because we race too. We're determined to produce quality products that can help you get to the finish line first. Ask your dealer for Joe's Racing Products or visit us online at joesracing.com.
Why do we put up with the blood, sweat, tears, and empty bank accounts? For some, it's point A to point B. But for us, it's part of who we are. That calm, yet exciting sound of the end. An extension of our personality. A superhuman extension of ourselves. Whether it's 180 horsepower or 1800, it doesn't matter. It's all about the hunt. The hunt for the cheapest parts, the fastest time, our friends' egos, the UPS man, it never ends. We are out there drag racing, drifting, slashing corners. Some prefer the hard part and others prefer the exclusiveness. But we all do it for the same reason, to express ourselves and to go fast. We spend quality time with friends and family, conversations learning about technical things or about each other. Late nights in the garage finishing your build and early mornings at the track. That eighth time out and back with your transmission. The day that you get to drive it and feel it performed like you want it. That's the day all the broken knuckles, countless hours and thousands of dollars are truly worth it. Take away cars and you take away us. It's our reason to be. A car is freedom, getting away from home, meeting new people and going to new places. The challenge of building things and making things work. Even though more often than not, that wrench is getting thrown across the garage. Some say poor financial decision. Some say big ego, which for some may be true. Some dare say pointless. But for us, it's an addiction and a good one. And what the hell else would we be doing?
Big Papa, the man himself. <laughs> uh, Big Papa, you told me you got a race coming up here in a couple, in about a month or so. Uh, yeah, Beaver that, Creek Speedway. That's uh, right, uh, Beaver Creek Speedway, October 21st and 22nd. Uh, we'll be having our second annual mm -hmm. uh, Southern Shootout. We will be crowning our champions, uh, and our champions will get uh, each one of them will get a belt like this. I think I'm gonna, cool. I got that for three classes. And uh, as far as I know, I'm the only one doing something like this. Yeah. I mean, I've seen them here and there, but. Uh, not nothing like that. Not, nothing this quality. I, I've been to a lot of go kart races, man, and that is. thing. Oh, good lord! <laughs> I think it's a weapon. But we are. That is cool. We I'm are really paying, cool. uh, Five thousand to win in small block open. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty five hundred to win in unlimited. One thousand to win in stock appearing. Yeah. And all that's guaranteed. We're playing uh, our sumo class is guaranteed. I think a little over eighty five hundred guaranteed in money. You Jeez. know, and right there it is. Cash I mean, money. You, you ain't, ain't no joke. No checks. No, right there's no having to right worry there. about it coming back later or anything <laughs> like that. Right. So uh, that's awesome, man. I, I haven't got the opportunity to make it to Beaver Creek Speedway, but I've heard nothing but wonderful things about it. I mean, it's one of the premier karting facilities the, in the, Alabama. The uh, finest the finest racing surface in the South, hands that, down. That's hands down. I've always heard great, great things yeah. about it. Uh, it's a lot of money for small block open. It is. That is a it lot is. of money. That's I mean, that, there's a lot of them around this area, a lot of them in the Northeast. Right. And, I'm sure they'll all be going to Alabama that weekend for I that race. I hope so, because you know it's somebody's getting this money. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't playing. Brought it with him to the stand. Uh, just, I mean, just take us through what, everything else that you want to talk about. Talk, talk about the race. Talk about Beaver Creek. Uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I just anybody, you know, if you can make it out, come run with us. Like I said, it's guaranteed money. Yeah. My series does not depend on cart count. Yeah. You know, I, I, I get out there and beat the pavement. I find the sponsorship. I get the money guaranteed. That's what it's about. doesn't matter who and shows uh, up. All that matters is that. All entry fees and everything gets paid right back out to the racer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's th this is for the racer. Yeah. You know, they're getting taxed enough by having to travel, having yeah. to spend money, having to buy tires. Man, a lot know. of people will be driving a long way. To why, yeah, the, why, why tax them again? Exactly. You know? No, but I understand the, completely. So, if you want to get you one of these – Amazing championship belts. Go make sure to make your way to the Southern Shootout Championship October 21st, 21st and 22nd, and 22nd of, of Beaver October. Creek Speedway. At Beaver Creek Speedway, $5,000 on small block open, 2500 to win. And Unlimited All-Stars. Uh, what would you say, 1000 to win stock appearance? Stock appearance. And uh, Friday a, night on the 21st, we'll be doing our grudge racing again. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I about fell for that one, didn't I? <laughs> and, uh, Worth a shot. And uh, with the grudge racing, it's a $100 buy-in. Uh, we can do winner take all if we have 20 or more. We'll break it down, pay three spots. Yeah. All that money goes right back to the racer. But it's from right. a dead stop at the start finish line. We've done it last year. It yeah. worked out real well. It seemed that the 450s mm -hmm. had the whole shot on all yeah. of that. So it's really the that's really what you want and to do. It be really on. pays in. You change up some gear and everything. And, uh, coming from a dead stop, that's going to be a big. I asked. Man, that could be a big payday, hundred dollar buy in. Yeah, if you get 20 go karts, two thousand dollar. Yeah. To win, you know. I mean, that ain't no slouch. Most of these clone races don't pay right. that anymore. Uh-uh. And it's. Hey, Pappy, this, is, this is my question. This is my question. I'm kind of off camera here a little bit. Or whatever, you know. <laughs> but I saw that big wad of money that you almost fell for. I, I almost give it to so, you. <laughs> uh, man, this, this belt is absolutely, I mean. This thing is it, hurting it is my arms to I mean, hold it, it up. He handed it to me, and you would think that's made of plot. Yeah. This is, I mean, it's no, it's real. Like that zinc alloy. Like it's it's that's, real. Yeah. This is nice, guys. I have those uh, handmade from a guy in Afghanistan. Yeah, like it's. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what, but it's metal. Like yeah, it's it, thick it, it, too. I said Afghan. I meant Pakistan. That's where he's from. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're right next to each other. Close enough. Yeah. There yeah. You go. Somewhere <laughs> in the midway, <laughs> mid, middle. Middle East. Really, you can order these off uh, top shelf belts on Facebook. Right? Top shelf championship belts, and that's that's their quality of work they do. Well, you notice that we got your logo and stuff up there. We're running your logo and everything else, so that'd be about four hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> uh, for us to broadcast, I mean, that'll be another you know seven dollars and fifty two cents. Um, but no, man, this is this is awesome, dude. I can't believe uh, I can't believe you're here for one, uh, and then to to be able to be on the Dirt 360 TVs. Uh, 
you know, live broadcast of the 2022 U.S. Grand Nationals. Man, this right. is awesome. So, I mean, you've been out here for a little while, stuff. So, I mean, what do you what do you think of this? Uh, it's good. I mean, this is kind of kind of the show they had last year, about the same amount. You know, kind of the same folks. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they get together, they race all year. You know, for this day, and it's it's going great. You know, the track is very raceable. Uh, but I expect it to be a good show. Oh, it's tons of fun, man. And they uh, they fix turn one. It's smooth. It's I mean, it's uh, it's definitely getting their attention. Uh, we did have a couple that uh, fell out too too early. The defending you know UAS Grand mm -hmm. National Champion uh, Chris Hager uh, did blow a motor, so he is out. Mm -hmm. Ronnie Cox from the Northwest is also out. Uh, we saw him pull in after the incident over here. He actually had a seat flex, and it rubbed through. Mm, and I oh uh, got tore up pretty bad. So his hip and stuff like that's all taped up. He says, man, he says, I just can't. I just can't go through it no more. Right. And, and that's understandable. It, yeah. it kind of sucks, you know, flying all the way out here and getting all your stuff all the way out here and only make it a couple laps. He had a issue last night with his motor, uh, had a fuel pump or a water pump um, or a water key, I'm sorry, um, break and pulled off. Really didn't get in many laps. Uh, was fast, though. Uh, and then uh, just happened to be out in the first heat, and yeah, Ron, and unfortunately, Ronnie's but, always been fast. Every year I've seen him run. He, yes, he's he is. That's why they call him the Rock of the Ronnie Cox. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a great show, man. Uh, I, I can't uh, I, I we can't thank everybody enough, especially Southern Unlimited, uh, all you know, all stars and stuff. For it's for, gonna uh, it's gonna be an interesting show because you know you got Evan Say and you've got Bill Meacham's entry, and it's they're really close. Uh, Bill, you, you watched, open that Bill Meacham machine has yeah. been quick. You seen him pick up the dash, the dash for cash. I mean, he was really fast in qualifying, really, really fast in practice all day. So, it's gonna be interesting to see if he can keep that speed going and see yeah. if Evan and that whole entire see high performance crew Evan, down there Evan's can see if they can pick it up. Dominating the South for yeah, a has. long time. Yeah, and he's hard. I mean, to that's beat. the first thing he's lost all year. Was that? That's the first time I've down seen down here him in Georgia, especially in yeah, the last so. couple of years. Well, it's, it's crazy when we were back out here in June. You know, he ran a uh, uh, a thirteen. Came back out here uh, in June, then ran a 12.9, then qualified at a 12.6. Now, now that was all under, you know, mm -hmm. the conditions and stuff of yeah. being overcast, a little bit cool. Sun's baking on this track now. They haven't watered it. They have done nothing and stuff to it. I'm really interested in what it's going to be for the main event because he's going to be up there. It's, you know he is. I think it's going to be fine. It's uh, Like I said, it's not really hot enough. The track's not cracking or breaking up. I expect a good surface. And when the sun goes down, it, it'll get faster. And uh, it's, it's going to be a good show. It's going to be fun. No, no right here at DKK. Like Georgia get, Carter Complex. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Can't beat it at all. I'll tell I you what. I'll let you take this thing back. No way. I'll take it. That's I can't mine. hold he this thing no us, more. Right? It's heavy. Well, I've got, I've got two more. <laughs> I mean, I mean I, I he's got a wad of cash you. and a belt. Yeah. Well, he thinks heavy. he's making it. I mean, he needs, I mean, he's got security down there. Yeah. He needs to make it back to his truck. Well, we... We appreciate it, man. Thank hey, man, you so I much for coming I appreciate y'all taking time to interview me. Absolutely, I, I, man. I really do. Oh, man. That's, why, that's why we're here. I mean, you know right. it, and, and the people at home and stuff like that know it. I mean, it's not it's not all about us. It's about, you know, you guys as a track and, of course, these racers and it's stuff. The racers. And without, I mean, you, you know, without you guys, without this, right. you know, without that, you know, where, where, what do you have? What, so Any series I mean, none in of the us South would, right now would, not, would be nothing without the racers. Exactly. Yes, sir. None and of us would be standing here right now if it wasn't for all these UAS racers. Oh, that's right. Absolutely. That's right. And we need to promote the sport every chance we get. Try not to do things that hurt it. Exactly. Well, maybe one of these days we'll like that. We'll get down your neck and neighbor head and, and start filming one of your races. And it, stuff, it may but. be sooner than you think. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I mean, you see the broadcast and stuff here, and right. and uh, I mean, we it's only it's only us two, and then we hire you know Mr. Chris here to, to come on down, and uh, it makes it a great broadcast, man. It makes it really great, but uh, it takes a lot to do, uh, but we're super excited to be able to do it. Well, I sure do appreciate it, guys. Like I said. Uh, October 21st, 22nd, Beaver Creek Speedway or Second Annual Southern Shootout. If you can make it down, come on, get this money. There you go. I mean, let me let me let me you see. Let hold, me hold that. That's yeah. ten grand you're holding. Jesus, right there. God, Jeez. I gotta go, guys. I just feel it. I've never hold it. I've never held ten that, grand before. I just want to hold it. I mean, it even hold. I mean, even has like the the it's got the, the bands on it. Every uh, man. What is dang? So, well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if you want that money, it's it's a lot. It's right there. And if you ever held this belt, it's probably a good fifty pounds. It's it's that thing nice. is tough to hold. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it like, is heavy. On. Like you can see yeah, me you like got, so, you're, you're I was like moving around. Like this thing's getting too much. What the set this thing down? Big uh, 
Big Papa, it's uh, it's awesome, man. I, I appreciate you so very much. And I appreciate you bringing that up and showing everybody. And, and if this so. doesn't get their attention, then I don't know what will. Ten grand and a belt? Yeah. Yes, That's sir. It. Got my attention. <laughs> Got my hey, attention real quick. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm trying to look for a go-kart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much for coming up, man. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. You can come you. on. You can come on the show anytime you know you want that. All right. I know that. That's, all right. All right. That's, <laughs> That's why, why I came. That's why I came. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to you guys and stuff. All right, all right man. Thank you uh, again. Beaver Creek Speedway, Southern. Southern, Southern Shootout Southern Championship. Under, second annual Southern Shootout. Make sure to be there October 21st, 22nd. It's going to be the place you want to be. If you got a small block open anywhere in the southeast, that's where you're going to go. 5,000 to win small block open, 2,500 to win unlimited all-star, 1,000 to win stock appearing. they got grudge matches on Friday night. So make sure you're at Beaver Creek October 21st and 22nd. Why do we put up with the blood, sweat, tears, and empty bank accounts? For some, it's point A to point B. But for us, it's part of who we are. That calm, yet exciting sound at the end. An extension of our personality. A superhuman extension of ourselves. Whether it's 180 horsepower, or 1800 it doesn't matter it's all about the hunt the hunt for the cheapest parts the fastest time our friends egos the ups man it never ends we are out there drag racing drifting slashing corners some prefer the hard part and others prefer the exclusiveness but we all do it for the same reason, to express ourselves and to go fast.
We spend quality time with friends and family. Conversations learning about technical things or about each other. Late nights in the garage finishing your build and early mornings at the track. That eighth time out and back with your transmission. The day that you get to drive it and feel it perform like you want it. That's the day all the broken knuckles, countless hours and thousands of dollars are truly worth it. Take away cars and you take away us. It's our reason to be. A car is freedom, getting away from home, meeting new people and going to new places. The challenge of building things and making things work. Even though more often than not, that wrench is getting thrown across the garage. Some say poor financial decision. Some say big ego, which for some may be true. Some dare say pointless. But for us, it's an addiction and a good one. And what the hell else would we be doing? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Joe Constance with Joe's Racing Products. My company has been producing high quality racing components in the USA for over 30 years. We know the commitment and determination it takes to win races because we race too. We're determined to produce quality products that can help you get to the finish line first. Ask your dealer for Joe's Racing Products or visit us online at joesracing.com. Are you scared as hell? I'm learning from the best, yeah, you're talking. 
Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to GKK for the 2002 Weird. running of the UAS Grand Nationals. 2022. What two did I say? Did I, did two, I just two, say 22? Two, 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 I just said 2222. Two, two, two. Hey. I just heard a bunch of twos. Welcome back to GKK. Yeah. <laughs> We've had some refreshments. We had uh, Big Papa Big talking Papa. about talking about the Southern Unlimited Championship money. You, yeah, you big see, money. You see that money? Yeah. Money. Yeah. Can, can I can I have that, Bishop? What? what? That that tape thing you right there? That thing that great? Yeah. I wanna, Do you need the tip? I want. To, I was. I would like to put this up here, please. Oh, Excuse there is me, people on the racetrack. What? First main event of the night. We will start off with the Young Guns, the Junior One Division. You're starting lineup in the third spot. The 117 of Brant Brantley Layman starting second to double zero seven. Gavin Clark. Junior one pole clone. Sitter, the 31 of Jet Harrison. Going to bring him down to a creep. Down the back straightaway. Get him bunched up. Nose to tail for the first main event of the UAS Grand Nationals here at Georgia Carton Complex, and the green flag is out. Jet Harrison going to lead him off in a turn one, followed closely by that Gavin Clark 007 machine. Going to get a little bit of a breakaway between the rest of the field down the back straightaway. Harrison holds on to it. Clark going to be second. Lehman going to be your top three as they work their way up off of turn number two. One lap in the books now. For your race leader is that number 007 of Gavin Clark trying to track down your race leader. Up off of turn number two. What, uh, a, what a name, Jet. Hey. Right? Picked a good name for racing. Yeah, he did. The, the Jet. <laughs> the Jet, the Jet himself. Jet Harrison with a 15-9-8. Too, man, clicking off those laps. He's almost a second faster. Or oh, big accident big over there. Caution flag will have to fly. That's going to be of. We want to slow them Brentley. down before they get to turn number one. Oh, watch out! He's like, listen. Yeah. I'm, he's <laughs> my, still racing. My, We're still racing. <laughs> my daddy done said you do not stop for yeah. nothing besides that checker flag. <laughs> you lift, you ain't you walking home. <laughs> that's, that's, you, you lift. You, <laughs> Have you had that in your lifetime before? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not talking about from past experiences. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I've my, heard it before on the grid before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the, the, there's no jokes. <laughs> that's funny, <laughs> but I think my dad has said that a couple times, sort of like that too. You say, "Listen, boy." <laughs> yeah, you know, like, like, I, I spent way too much for you to come out here and be lifting. Mm -hmm. So, if I hear you lift, I've heard, I've heard of them disconnecting brakes, uh, like all the all the good stuff, or, or back the bleed off. And, yeah, oh, back yeah. the pads way way off. Uh -huh. So, even if you do hit brakes, I'm talking about hit the brakes, at the flag stand, and it's still <laughs> full speed going you're into three. You're still pump, you're pumping yeah. it up. That's awesome. I can't stop, Daddy. Right. <laughs> You don't need to stop. Junior one clone out there for their A main event. And it's been the Jet Harrison show so far. Gavin Clark was tracking him down right there at the end of that run until Mr. Brantley Lehman got spun around in one and two. So I'm st I'm still I st I like that name, man. The Jet. That that kid was born for racing. Was daddy, wasn't he? His daddy knew. Think his, you think his dad named him? Yes. Okay. I think so. All right. Jet with two teams. <laughs> <laughs> Green flags back out. Jet showing him how it is. Man, extremely smooth down the back stretch, going into turn three and four. This is what I like right here. This little action shot oh, coming yeah. out of three and four. That's money, dude. You see a, that, a, that 31 of Harrison down to the bottom of the racetrack, trying to see if he can hold off that hard charger. Gavin Clark now. Clark trying to get that big arc. Is that uh, 117 of Brantley? Le Layman. Brantley Lehman hitting the inside yeah. of the berm again. Clicking big. Berm. Big thing of dirt on the bottom. Let's see if Jet runs right through it, if he's oh. going to notice it or not. Goes right through nope. it. Oh, double zero yeah. seven of Clark does. Knew Jet that it was going to be an issue with that. Yeah. I get that dirt on the racetrack, man, and then these young drivers, they're not used to like, It's such a big d difference. I walked the racetrack just a second before they started the main events, man, and it's got a lot of bite in it. Oh, yeah, I bet. Like a ton. Like your shoes squeak, It squeaks yet? your shoes. <laughs> like you slide your shoes across, it squeaks. That's awesome. So, that big transfer right there from – Bite to no bite really can throw a loop at some of these young drivers. Yes, Hands, sir. Hands, head, whatever you want to call it. But now Gavin Clark, he's going to have to tag the back of the field, see if he can work his way around Brantley Lehman. But it's been the Jet Harrison show so far. 
Got four laps in the books. They're going to go ahead and stop him, bring him back up. Yeah. Maybe the corner workers stuff kind of announced that. Say, hey, look, it really wasn't his fault. Get these guys bunched back up. They're the junior clones, of course. Let them race, you know. Once you start getting out and and uh, having that, you know, big, big lead, it really doesn't give them that talent of, of learning how to race with others yeah. and stuff. It just kind of just. That's one of the downfalls to these drivers. Like some of these smaller races like this, they, they, they get spread out, so really it's just cutting laps. But now. Gavin Clark's going to have one to pass at least, and that's going to be the 117 of Brantley Lehman. He's going to have a little bit of a, a tough time trying to get around that one, see if he can't hold down to the bottom of the speedway. I like watching these, uh, these junior clones. They're already bumping and banging already down the back stretch. <laughs> Coming oh, yeah. into turn three and four, Jet Henderson in that 31. Up showing the Gavin four. Clark. Green the, flag going to fly him and Brantley Lamon going to be your top two. Look at the little junior <laughs> flagger that we got up there. You yeah. see that? Talon Gaylord, daughter, or son of uh, Marsha Gaylord, the scorer here this weekend at the UAS Grand Nationals. Now the battle is going to be on for the second spot as Brantley Lamon under pressure from Gavin Clark as he works his way up off of turn number four. Knows to tell. Oh, Lehman going to go around off of four now. Going to get that thing pointed back in the right direction. Try to see if we can't keep this one under green flag conditions, and we will. He just wanted to sit there and get a little camera time. That's yeah, okay. Not a problem. Your leader coming down through three and four now onto the front stretch. Oh, now caution flag caution. is going. See if we can pull up this replay of uh, what happened over there. Oh, Layman going to go around off of four now. Layman going to go around off of four. Layman going to go around off of back around now. We're going to get Brantley Layman. Layman going to go around off of four now. You can see just, I mean, just a little bit of contact up off of four. No harm, no foul. Get them all bunched yeah. right back up together again here. Bunch right back up, probably. Helps out Gavin Clark's mission on a win, trying to get this win here as he gets bunched back up with the race leader. Now it's Jet Harrison, and they're going to bring him to the stop with a big hit. <laughs> Three and hey, four. just want to let him know he was there. Trying to get Brantley Lehman stopped in three and four. And now we're going to go back one more time. trying to. You can see that young flag went up on the flag set, trying to get him slowed down so we can go green flag this <laughs> next time by. That is pretty cool, a little junior flagman up there. Yeah. Junior one calls for a junior flagman, so why not? Right, hey, you know what? You're pretty, you're pretty quick. Yeah, I couldn't have done that. Yeah, that must be that <laughs> southern deal. Huh? I've been thinking about that all day, <laughs> so I can't take too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> We're gonna get him bunched up. About kill Josh. <laughs> oh, that oh. was uh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> So green flag going to fly you doing? one more time. Jesus. Up off of turn number four into turn number one now. Jet Harrison holds on to it. Followed by Gavin Clark. Knows the tail up off of turn number two down the back straightaway. Clark trying to pull up underneath that 31 of Harrison, trying to see if he can't make a move for this race lead as they're pretty much about a curling separation up off of turn number four. A big run off of four, though. Here comes that number 007 of Gavin Clark trying to make the move on the 31 of Harrison. Harrison holds on to it. Oh, Lehman with issues. He's going to pull up to the top of the racetrack here in turn number one. He's just on a Sunday drive. He's just going to park. Yeah, he's done. I think he's had enough of Georgia Carding Complex this weekend as the battle is starting to heat up for your race lead. There's nose to tail into turn number one. Here comes that double zero seven of Gavin Clark. Down the back straightaway, peeks that nose underneath him. Harrison going to close the door as they work their way through three and four. Junior Clune right there out of turn three and four on your speed shot camera just coming by right now. Trying to look on the inside. That is Clark. Clark box off about three or four car lengths now into turn one and two. You can see Clark try to pull that double zero seven to the inside of that Jet Harrison 31 machine, but Harrison closes the door down the front straight up off of turn number four. That action shot off a of turn chaos corner trying to see if he can uh, trying to see if he can track him down one more time. That double zero seven of Gavin Clark. Clark having a little bit of wiggle out of turn number two, but he sits sits up and down into a seat trying to get that that cart to move just a little bit more forward, have a little bit more forward bite and stuff, try to collect as much room as he can to get on the back bumper of your leader of Jet Henderson. 
We've got two more laps to go. The Clark starting to slide up the racetrack off of turn number two. Gets in that loose dirt up at the top of the racetrack. So he's going to lose a lot of ground to your race leader. White flag will fly for the 31 of Jet Harrison. Harrison leads him off into turn number one. No pressure from behind for Jet Harrison down the back straightaway for the final time here tonight at Georgia Carding Complex through three and four up off of turn number four. Taylor Gaylord with a checkered flag in the air, and he's going to take the win. Jet Harrison, a happy young driver with a fist pump. He gets a point to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he makes his that way is, through one and two. That is, that is awesome that is right there. He, young driver. he knows. He knows he's on camera. Yeah. He knows. Oh, Double zero seven showing his uh, <laughs> showing giving him a little bit of a congrats. <laughs> so, man, what a he was happy to be. That is awesome right there. Good deal. Are they? I think they're going to send him around to the front straightaway. Think they're going to go do that? You yeah, want I'll to? Uh, all right. Going to have Chris go down there and talk to your winner as they get all set up. <clears throat> Big old congratulations from Dad right there. That is so awesome. Your winners for tonight. Going to get you some live interviews right now, ladies and gentlemen, down there at Victory Lane. Chris Williams is going to talk to Jet Henderson. Up on the victory podium they go. Having a little bit of issue right now with that mic. We'll see if we can fix that uh, next time that they come around here. Congratulations to that young man down there. We'll get a hold of Chris when uh, when he comes back up and see what they had to say there for you.
as a junior clone A main event winner. We'll talk to uh, Chris as soon as he comes back up here real quick and see what they had to say. UASC main is uh, up on the grid. Oh, Jed Harrison. For some odd reason, we couldn't uh, we couldn't get you, so we gotta we gotta see what we can do next time when we go down there. Okay. <laughs> well, I was just informed that we're only interviewing junior UAS and UAS winners, so there you go. We won't get another one until the junior UAS main event win. That works, and we can maybe possibly bring them up this way and yeah, and talk to them like that. So yeah, we might do that next time, just so we can get them closer to the camera and everything. <laughs> and uh, so coming up next is gonna be your USC main, right? Yes, sir. Two will transfer out of this. Top two will transfer to the B main out of this. Now you talk about uh, no holds barred. I mean, this is uh, this is what it's going to take. You got to transfer of, out of the C's to get into the B's. Transfer out of the B's to get into the A's. Yeah, and a lot of these drivers drove a, drove a long way to end their night early. Yes, sir. So starting on the starting six will be the 137 of Sammy Rosa. Starting in the fifth spot, the 428 of Jeff Calhoun. Starting fourth, the 14 of Daniel Trent. Third at 44W. He was a pole. He was a pole sitter in one of these heat races. And after issues early, that Caleb Water number 44W, a lot of speed in that camp. He's going to have to come from a C main. The 11E e of Ryan Erskine is going to start second. The C4 of Ernie Coffner going to be on the pole, but it looks like the 17 of Highsung going to be your pole sitter, really. Mark Highsung, and we're going to be green. Flag raising into turn number one. Highsung going to take that lead to follow by Woodard. Highsung looking over his shoulder. Now he's, oh, he's got, his, he's got, got issues. His hands he's up. got his hands in there. Big issue on the 17 of Highsung. He's going to about come to a stop down the back straight away. So something but. broke. Woodard going to work his way into the top spot, followed by Rosa. Both of those carts had a lot of speed earlier, but issues on the racetrack, issues uh, with motors and stuff that put them in the C main, and now they're going to try to see if they can't transfer to the B main and work their way in. We talked about alphabet suit. We talked about how some, somebody was at motor issues, and these two drivers both had motor issues. Woodard didn't even get to start his, main, his heat race. Rosa was really fast in his, but did not get to finish. So you look at what World Rose is uh, is running. He's running two Yamaha, uh, two Yamahas. Trent now to the is broke on the inside, but two Yamahas put together that that dually. Yeah, Woodard's running the same thing down the front straightaway, uh, down the back straightaway in that 44 machine. Woodard up off a turn before a lap starting to wind down in your C main for your unlimited All Stars. In the turn one and two now, Woodard and Rosa comfortably out set right now in transfer to the A, to the B main, excuse me. Halfway around this time around for your leader, Halfway the 44 down. of Caleb Woodard. Woodard now putting on a clinic. I mean, he looks like he's going to, I mean, he wants to be in that A main extremely, extremely bad. He is running some really quick lap times here at Georgia Carning Complex, a 13, 165, a 138 that last time by. Picking up the pace every time he crosses that stripe. Try to put one lap, one quarter lap down in the C main as Woodard and Rose are going to be the Rose going to be the two that transfer to the A or to the B. A little bit of contact now. Some of the nerf bar of that of the rear uh, of the of the wedge is now falling off of the. That's the C4 of Ernie Kaufner. Confer. Track officials looking at it, make sure that it is not a uh, a hazard, but they are going to black flag him this time around. Yeah, it looks like the. What, some of the support the, the or upright, on that side. Yeah, the upright support on that right-hand side there. So we got a black flag for the four machine as Woodard and that 137 of Rosa trying to transfer into this A. To the See, B. I keep saying A, but it's to the B. I'm sorry. <laughs> Transferred into the B. You're, yeah. Your leader coming around the front stretch and stuff now. One more time around. Georgia Cardinal Complex will lock himself into this B main coming up. Him and Rosa, the two to transfer. I will right, we'll turn number four, Caleb Woodard after, or now we get the white flag, excuse me. 
Caleb doing a 13-138 was his fastest time around. That's not too bad. That's pretty sporty. Lot. That car had a lot of speed in it, and he's, he won both of his heat races in the Yamaha and the Loaded Outlaws in dom dominating fashion. Now trying to win that BSC main here in about the same fashion as him and Rose are going to be your top two. They're going to transfer to the C to the B main. The top two do transfer. That's I mean, hey, if he's doing less than you know four tenths away from the fastest lap that was out there for yeah. Evan C, uh, I mean, especially you think with the this fastest lap in the in the in the heat races or in that dash was a twelve eighty. Yeah, Evan went twelve nineties. I mean, that right there is not far off the pace, and he's still got two. More main events to adjust before he hits the racetrack. Yes, sir. Limited Outlaws are coming up next. But he's got to come straight off the – he's got to come straight off from that one and go to his Limited Outlaw for, his, for that main event. Limited Outlaws, A main event. Appreciate you guys so much. He says, is the Woodward backup engine set up? I'm not sure. I think that, I don't know what issue he had on that first for that heat race, but he like they didn't even drop the green flag before he pulled it to the infield. So uh, a lot of speed in that one right there. That, that go course had a lot of speed in it all weekend. Just the issue in that heat race really threw him to the back of that C main, so he just had, has a lot of ground to make up. Yes, sir. And then after this, after the limited outlaw main, it's going to be your small block main. Then you UA... Don't hold me to this, but I think the small block main has already ran. Have they? Yes, because a lot of these drivers are running small block and limited that's, open. That's right. Okay. Limited outlaws. All right. So I think the small block open main has done ran, so that – main could be done and over with. I don't know 100% yet, but I think that ran when we had to come back from intermission. Got you. Okay. So, uh, the 13-1 with twins, KTs, it, yeah. uh, that's fast. Yeah. Uh, that's that's pretty darn yeah, fast. That's, that's sporty. And like I said, the fastest, since since racing has started, the fastest we've seen so far is a 1280. Yep. And like I said, he's still got a whole B main to go through, and he could just have been just trying to make it through that C main. He knew he had a really good piece. He got out to the early lead, and he was, like, gone. So, he could have been babying it. I mean, he ran some of those fastest laps at the beginning of the race when he was trying to get away from Rosa. So, I mean, he could have been just kind of riding, seeing what he had, knows what kind of adjustments he's got to make for that B main coming up. And then that B main is just another test session for that A. So. I'll tell you, yeah, that's all it is. I mean, I mean, it's tires. But, I mean, hey, you know, well, I mean, you, tire, you, you, know you know that you're going to be in um, in that C. So, I mean, you, you prep. I mean, you, you already know what you're going to do. Uh, you – Already know that hey, if you got if you transfer into the B's, you got to be ready for the B's, and of mm -hmm. course if you transfer from the B's, you got to be ready for the A. So I mean, a lot of these guys, I mean, this isn't their first rodeo. I mean, no. they, they know what to do. So I mean, no. it, they have everything set up, you know, laid out and everything mm -hmm. else. So just in case that does happen, like you said, know, he knows, they're ready to go. Like for all we know, he has his A main set sitting on the rack right now. He knows which ones he's going to run. Yes, sir. He knows which ones he's going to run for that thousand one Yamaha class. He's got his limited outlaw class coming up here short, like coming up here next. So I mean, he's still got two. Look Three, four main events. I think three main events before he even hits the racetrack for the Unlimited All Stars. That's it. Now look at the track. I mean, I, we'll see if we can get a panhandle of uh, of some of this track, and just look at the blue groove and stuff that has formed around this facility. Oh, I, talk, I talked about it a second ago. That track has a lot about it. Man, shoes are squeaking when you walk around. You drag your foot. It about rips your shoe off. Like it's got a lot of bite. It's ready to go here for this weekend. I mean, look how smooth it is from. It's so it's glass. if you look, if you look back, if we pan out just a little bit from where that top right is, is where that hole was yesterday or mm -hmm. last night. They fixed that. It's smooth as glass. They're yeah. fast too. And I, I mean, I walked the whole entire racetrack. It's a lot different shape than it has been. There's more of a bowl shape going to it, so that could account to a lot of the speed. There's not really much straightaway. It's a lot of corner now. That's good. Like it's a big sweeping, sweeping racetrack. It's a big bowl shape now. Like a Talladega. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's and it's. I mean, we heard some of them other like Yamahas and stuff like that. They're not letting off much. Like it's it's a lot of full speed, full speed stuff. So I mean, get ready to go for this limited outlaw division coming up next. Like I said, I think they're just giving Woodard some time to take a break. <laughs> I, sure he's I would ready too. to go. Okay. <laughs> Waiting on Bryce Overton right now on the grid for the limited outlaw. 
in the double zero car. Yeah, like I said. Listen to some of the track officials and stuff on the on the radio. And I mean, Blake Lester is starting third in this one. Simon C., Kettle Woodard. Uh, Blake Lester, he picked up that small block open main event here short <laughs> up here earlier. <laughs> uh, I mean, a lot, a lot of, a lot of speed. My money don't jiggle, yeah. jiggle. It, it folds. <laughs> I did down. <laughs> oh my lord! I, I, I <laughs> Bishop, he's over here. Of course, he has to be off he's got, camera. He's got dollar signs. Dude, in his eyes that's, right now. All that's all he's got. That's about. all he's looking at right now. <laughs> my money don't jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> 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 oh dear lord! Limited outlaws, ladies and gentlemen. Your A main event right here, <laughs> live on Dirt Three Six TV. Chris, I mean, you've done a lot of announcing and stuff, and you've been a lot of like, uh, across the country. And to be honest, what I mean, what do you think of, of being on Dirt 360 TV? Oh, it's it's an amazing time. A lot of these places, a lot of these other like bigger, quote unquote, bigger places. I mean, they take and they they take their job serious. But man, y'all take your job serious, and y'all have so much fun doing it, it. And that take it makes a day go by so much faster. Yes, sir. It's so much fun to work with y'all. I've had a tremendous <laughs> time at the Road to the Grand Nationals this weekend, and. I mean, everybody at home can see the quality of content you are putting out. There's no like, there's no comparing it. A lot of the places they come down to these, these off the grid a little bit uh, racetracks and stuff like that. And I mean, y'all are coming in here and it's flawless. Like from what I've seen so far, it's it's been flawless. It's, we're green flag racing for the Unlimited All Star Limited Outlaw main event at 44. At C main, the C main bandit like, uh, already out. Big spin. Lead. Oh, oh, hard hit over Seth there. Green. See, that's what we're talking about. Seth right over there, and he is. He is feeling that one. Yeah, he the is. The whole four tires come off the ground for that machine. Let's get into uh, – see if we can get a replay pulled up. Oh, that, one, that was a hard hit That was a right hard there. hit for Seth. Oh, Lehman going to go around Coming off the four of, uh, now. I'm going to get that thing pointed back in the right direction. Oh, try to see if we can't wrong replay. keep this one under green flag conditions, <laughs> and we will. That's the junior he one just replay. Yeah, it is. Get a little camera time. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Your leader coming down through three and four now onto the front stretch. Oh, now Caution one, flag is going. Go over here and look at Seth I mean, Green's. Uh, coming here, and it's flawless. Run coming like, out of turn number four. What I've seen so far, it's, it's been the flawless. Green We're green flag racing for Simon C's way up the speedway. Seth Green, you can see him coming through three, one and two. Gets a little bit out of line, gets a bump, and you can see that thing just hits with all kind of – you can see all four tires, slings him out of the go-kart. But, hey, he's back in it, ready to go. Went from leaned over. Yeah. Hey. Hey, that adrenaline is still flowing. He's going to feel it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he will. Right now, well, he's just thinking about this race. With all with all of the luck and stuff that he did, or he the bad luck that he's had through mm -hmm. the weekend, uh, this is something that you know. I mean, he he's he needs to be here. He needs to he, be he's in that car. This is where he feels safe. If you get out, if he gets out of it, he's, he's going to kick himself I mean, in the butt. A, that is a year's worth of work down the drain just by one accident, lap number one. And I mean, he's sitting fourth right now. He starts fourth. He's got a. a a stacked field in front of him. Caleb Woodard, Simon C., Blake Lester all have picked up wins are here today. It was a heat races, main events, whatever. But, I mean, you can see Simon C. ain't wasting no, no time. He to the back bumper of Caleb Woodard down the back straight away. Blake Lester going to be that first one and that, after that big gap between second and third. Now is Woodard way up the speedway. Simon C. to the inside. He's going to take over that top spot. As we got one around, that's going to be the 118 of Tim Crump. Crunk goes around oh, on the top four, number four. Caution flag is out. And it just looped around right there. So not nothing too dramatic about that one. It just he just got got to the gas too early and it just looped it. Hold on. That was the break Caleb Woodard needed because, I mean, he had a big slide off of turn number four, relinquished that lead to Simon C, and now we're going to see Tim Crump has an issue. I think they're going to pull that one behind the, the fence over there off of turn number four. A little bit of push up to the grid. That is the Pull Boys Tire Solution uh, entry of Tim Crump. Yep. Unfortunate, you know, for him to be out, you know, this early and stuff. 
Yeah. Uh, especially at the main event. But, you know, great, great person. Great part of uh, Dirt 360's family of sponsors. We're going to go back green flag racing. Blake Lester, a tough restart again for him as he works his way off into turn number one. Keep your what? eye, though, on Seth Green. Seth Green drove in just a little bit hot. Slid up the track out of turn number one and two. Still in the third, fourth place. Now he's coming under pressure. Yeah, Lehman trying to make a move on him to the inside, but that's going to shut the door through one and two. Now up off of turn number two down the back stretch. Way. That's going to be that 117 of Robert Lehman trying to make a move on that seven machine to Seth Green as they work their way up off of turn number four. Taylor Border, once they drop the rag on this one, he's out front and commanding lead over that three machine of Simon C as they work their way down the back straightaway. Him, Blake Lester, Seth Green, Robert Lehman throws the bumper to that seven machine to Seth Green through three and four, trying to get underneath him, does, it, does so, but cannot make that pass. A lot of power on that seven machine, and it all comes into play when they get pointed in that straight line. Seth Green trying to run down that 34 machine of Blake Lester up off of turn number four. But, Lester now up underneath him, takes over that fourth spot, puts Matt Green back into fifth. That was your battle for the fourth, fifth. Now Seth Green takes the battle back. back. To the in Robert Lehman. Way too hard. Lehman on the high side now. Lehman got excited after he made that pass and sent it off into one and two and just cost himself a bunch of time. Caleb Woolworth, the 44, going into turn three and four now. That's your leader. And coming down the front stretch. I told you. A lot of speed in that 44 camp this weekend. A lot of speed. Man, they have been like everything but the UAS. Once they have dropped the rag, it has been nothing but green, <laughs> nothing but checkers ever since then. And up off of turn number four, as he holds on to about a straightaway advantage over that three machine. Assignment C as they work their way into turn number one. That is going to be seven laps in the book for your race leader, Caleb Woodard, into turn three and four up off of turn number four. Willard now on the front stretch, coming at your camera, going into turn one and two, has a hefty, about a half a track length lead now over everybody. Simon C, second, but all, I mean, all out front is Woolward. He is making yeah. a clinic out of this one. Simon run with him, he could run with him, he stayed with him about three laps, and after that, it's been that 44, that Woodard show. That almost looks like a sedan motor or a TT75 that he's running on that. Worked away. I think that's the same thing. I think that's the same exact car he's running in that KT Yamaha class. No, he was running a dual. Uh, is it? Well, I think he's running it into the Yamaha class. Like the Thousand Win class. I may be wrong, though. Don't mean to. I've seen two go karts down there, and one of them is the dual, and then what? that one. Okay, so that he might be running that in the Yamaha yeah. class, yeah? So. I mean, this could be a, I mean, both the, the top two are entered in that Yamaha class going up here later. If, uh, <laughs> imagine how that's going to work. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and like I said, 44's got a ton of speed in it. Already coming up to some lap traffic out of turn three and four now. Two laps to go for Carol Woodard out front. Your, one, yeah. your 117 of Robert Lehman is going to be the next one that goes, goes a lap down if Woodard mm -hmm. can catch him out of turn three and four. You get a look at some of these drivers coming down the front straightaway. That, this hard biting racetrack here in Georgia is really working on the next. We talked about it in June and talked about the same thing here. Look at Simon C when he comes down. You can just, that head is just, he's just holding on. <laughs> That's all he can do. Just trying to keep his neck up as Caleb Woodard. Going to be your winner here in your limited outlaw division. Wow, that's, he's finished. Simon C still ha is just now finishing this race. Ain't that crazy? He almost lapped, I think he lapped a third. Lapped all the way to, no, fourth place. Yeah. So he lapped up to fourth in this one. That's crazy. So The 44 right there on your screen, ladies and gentlemen, that is Caleb Woodward, that 44 machine man. So he won the dual KTs. He won this one. And it, it looks like it is a sedan that's on that thing. But just, just crazy, absolutely crazy. Yes. Let's get a shot of, uh, no, yeah, no, go, yeah, do, go do that other one. <laughs> Sorry. So he is going to have to run three back-to-back -back mains. Man. Woodard is getting off the racetrack right now from his limited all. He just came off the racetrack from the C main for the unlimited all-stars. He is on the racetrack right now for limited outlaws, and now he's got to go straight to the grid after this race and go over to that B main. And then I think he's got to run Yamaha. <laughs> So, is he going to 
down to the the podium down there. Okay, the winner gonna be your winner. And he still looks fresh faced. <laughs> like he looks he looks like he's ready to go for another twenty. Him, Simon C, Blake Lester, your top three in your limited outlaw division. Trying to get pictures, everything. Staying in a victory lane here at the Grand Nationals. The UA Unlimited All Star Grand Nationals here at Georgia Carding Complex. Been a lot of people want to stay in their victory lane here at Georgia Karting Complex. It's been one tough track to tame for a lot of people. Some of the best drivers in the business couldn't even come to it. And Caleb Woodard done it in dominating fashion. So, like I said, maybe we can get some of these guys up here a little bit later and uh, interview them. Woodard so. now putting that uh, cart up onto the stand. You still got to weigh that cart. That's right. Uh, they ain't even done yet. Uh -uh. But, <laughs> but Woodard, he's still, like I said, he's focused right now on that B main for the Element All Stars, I'm sure. Trying to get that, trying to focus his mind onto that one now. He's picked up one main event here this weekend. He's picked up two main events technically. He won the C main, and I'm talking about won it in about the same fashion as he did right there. So That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Tons of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is going to be your UAS C-Main. Whoa. What just happened? All right, ready to go for our B main for the Unlearned All Star. Starting at the trunk of the field is going to be that 137 of Rosa. It. Uh, oh, that's a smoke. I thought the camera was all foggy. <laughs> that's a smoke. I was like, uh, something's wrong with our camera here. He's going to start 14th. Woodard's going to start. Woodard's not even starting his main event. What just happened there? That was the most. 
The B99 is on the infield. Uh, I don't know. The 54 of Hollyfield, he's up here at the top of the racetrack, and we're still green flag racing. No way. Yeah. No cautions. No cautions at all? We're about to get one. Whoa, big time. About Everybody's. 9 one nine of Brent Messler. He sent it all the way to the tower now as we've got a battle for the race lead at double zero one. Trying to work its way to the inside now. Top four transfer from the A to the A. I'm not even sure where we're at. Oh, spin over there in turn That's, number two. That was the race leader now. The second place driver, he's to the infield. Everybody's breaking. The zero one now. The leader spun. That is it's just pandemonium. I have no idea where we're you at. Know who's leading now? Kay Wilson. Katie Wilson to the top Katie. of the board. Katie Wilson, your race leader. Nick Moore going to be second. The caution flag will fly. So. Nick Durham. Yeah, that's a big shape up, shake up. He plugged this in. What happened to the 44 of Caleb Woodard? He had that I dominating run. No idea. He didn't even start. It didn't even start this A. Yeah, he's not in the B main. He's not here. I'm confused. Yeah, me and you both. Maybe after that win in the limited outlaws, he said, no, I'm good. It, it just, but you uh, think as much speed as they had in that car, he would at least attempt to run the big I, I, You would think so, but, I mean, maybe he knew something that we didn't know. So now it looks like Katie Wilson going to be your leader. It says the 66 of Durham's your leader, so Wilson going to be second. And all they got to do is get to the top four to make their way to the A. And that 9-1-9 of Messler, he's now in the top four after that restart. So now your top four to transfer to the A is going to be Katie Wilson, Dustin Stegen, or Nick Durham, Katie Wilson, Dustin Stegen. Nick Moore, Brett Messler, excuse me. Battle's going to be on for that top spot now down the back straightaway. In the turn number one, up off a of turn number four. In the turn number three, up off a of turn number four. Katie Wilson holds on to it. Uh, number 66 and Nick Durham trying to track down your race leader as the battle's on for the transfer spot. The 137 of Rosa to the inside, trying to make his move on the 9-1, nine, nine of Messler. Messler holds on to it. Now we're nose to tail up off a of turn number four for the transfer. Halfway down. Rosa back to the back level of that 9-1, nine, nine of Messler. Trying to see if he can't work his way around. Trying to make his way to the transfer spot. He gives a shot to the 9-1, nine, nine of Messler. Up off a of turn number four now. Battle's going to be out for third, fourth, and fifth. Top four will transfer now. Nick Moore under pressure from Messler and Rosa. Trying to hold on. Trying to make sure he can transfer this A main. Up off a of turn number four. Katie Wilson, though, holds on to it. Wilson, Durham, Moore, Messler, your transfer spot. Rosa trying his best to work around your race, that third place, a fourth place competitor of Messler. And now they're all starting to drag down that 66 of Nick Durham. As laps winding down in this. Up on the turn number four, two laps to go for Katie Wilson, your race leader. And the turn. One and two. Now Wilson has the commanding lead, trying to hold off Nick Durham, but Nick Durham about a straightaway behind. White flag will fly for Katie Wilson. White flag is out. One more time around, trying to transfer to the eight main. Rose has got one more shot at it, trying to work it in. That 9 1 9 Messler, the final transfer spot in three and four up off of turn number four. Can he get to the inside on me? Can't get it done. Katie Wilson going to be your winner. Durham going to transfer. Moore going to transfer. Messler going to transfer. The one. All the way up front, Katie Wilson, your B main event winner for the UAS. That was, uh, okay, I, I'm, I, I ain't going to lie. That was uh, a little something for me. That was a, an epic first couple laps here in this unlimited all-star B main. Yamaha A main event coming up next. Tough break for Trent Holyfield. He didn't even get to make a lap. Goes from start on the pole in his heat race to an issues lap number one, gets that side panel dented in, and then after that, had to go to the B, start the B. They didn't even get to make a lap before he had to park that 54 machine.
That is unbelievable. Absolutely, cr absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. That is, I, I mean, would it be Grand Nationals if it wasn't? <laughs> no. It, uh, yeah. So now, now I see, I think I know why Woodard did not start that B main. There's a thousand to win payday sent at the end of this main event. And he is starting second. <laughs> so Woodard running down to, to back to the grid to start second for this main event. But he's got Mikey Kaiser. So getting ready for our A main for the Yamaha division coming up next. Ten carts to battle it out for this one. And your poles that are going to be Mikey Kaiser and that 15JR. Starting second will be the 44 of Caleb Woodard. Starting third will be the th one of Renee Angel. Starting fourth will be the 05 of Juan Greeno. Starting in the fifth spot, the 37 of Michael Nicosi. Starting in the sixth spot, fresh off that B main win, will be Katie Wilson. Starting seventh, the 28M of Connor Carroll. Ken Hollyfield will start eighth. Night will be the Brandon Day, number nine machine, and Seth Green will be in that 10th spot. Getting ready for your Yamaha A main event. Coming around now. Chris is going to step away real quick. He's got some parting gifts he's got to deal with. I want to thank you guys so, so very much for watching here at Dirt 360 TV. It's a pleasure to be able to bring it to you either in your living room or wherever you're watching, your your mobile your mobile app, your TV, your Roku, all that type of stuff. We want to thank you guys so very much. Yamaha A main event coming up next. It's going to be it's going to be fun. Uh, Renee Angel is, you know, is out there. She's going to be one of the ones to beat. The 15JR of Mikey Kessler, the 44 of Caleb Woodward. Maybe he might be in this one. Renee Angel on the 1. Juan Gurno in the 0 5. Michael Nesca in the 37. The 1 KW of Katie Wilson. Maybe they're just giving us a little bit more time because they're just out there for the B main of the UAS. They're giving them a little bit more time, trying to get all settled in, trying to wind down from the B main that they were just running. Kent Holyfield in the 40. Brandon Day in the OH and the 57 of Seth Green. We just watched Seth Green take a crazy tumble over there uh, out of turn number two. Smack tires came out of the cart. Got a little replay of that. He got back in it and finished fifth in that race. Now he'll be back in this Yamaha race and see if he can come from the back. And uh, But not having the, the best weekend for him and that, that group. They've had some struggles. Uh, but hopefully that they'll turn around here on this A main event of the Yamaha class. Great job, Northwest. Remember, you guys can sit there and message us on Facebook. We'd love to hear your comments from where you're watching from. That's the biggest thing. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to, love to know how far you guys are away. We've got from Mississippi to Florida to North Carolina, South Carolina, all the way back to, you know, of course, the West Coast, where we're from. We've also got some people from overseas. We want to appreciate you guys so very much for watching. You guys are awesome. What's that right there? Oh, that's it. You guys definitely make it uh, uh, fun and enjoyable for us to be out here and, and doing what we're doing. What do you think, Chris? You got uh, so we, we told people and stuff that you had some extracurricular activities that you had to go deal with. I had a potty. <laughs> I had a pee pee in the potty. So sorry, guys. I had to take a break real quick. I took a, a drunk a Red Bull and it went straight through me. That's I had awesome. to go. I, I mean, I didn't the go. bathroom. <laughs> didn't go that far. But I, I mean, I mean, I'm honest. If I'm, that's, <laughs> everybody if that's, poops. Everybody pees. So 
Wow. <laughs> I didn't have the poop right there, so that's good. Wow. <laughs> that would have been a little bit longer, but. Oh, dear Lord. Perfect timing for the Yamaha Fastlane to win main event. The, everything <laughs> that you hear here on Dirt 360 TV. Hey, hey, if you can't say anything, at least we're honest. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I didn't have to go run an errand. There I didn't was have to go, <laughs> there go run and just talk to somebody. I had to pee. There was a, there was a meme out there with, with a lady. And she says, you do realize that, that women poop, too. Like, I, I don't why? believe that. I don't believe why? that lie. That women not. don't poop. <laughs> I don't believe that lie. <laughs> For the first six months, they hold it. Yeah. And, they, and then they get exactly. comfortable. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, back to GKK. <laughs> back to the race. In the world. Oh, <laughs> dear Lord. <laughs> Yamaha, a main event. And this was an interesting interesting couple heat races now as we get green flag out. Let's see if we can get these oh, guys. Oh, green flag. And now we're going to start off the same way. We started off heat race number one. Hey. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. It's going to be Mikey Kaiser, Caleb Woodard, the one, not, the one of Renee Angel, the 05 of Juan Greeno, the 37 of Michael Nicosa, Katie Wilson, Connor Carroll, Kent Hollyfield, not- Brandon Day, and Seth Green going to be your top ten now as Kaiser with big issues on that start. Renee Angel all the way to the top four. She sneaks in right underneath the 15 of the outcast, guys. Now she's running fourth. Mikey Kaiser at big issues on that start. He went from the pole to fifth. But guess who is out front? That is Mr. Woodward himself, Caleb Woodward. This is his third A main event. I think he skipped the B main. He knew that he had a $1,000 payday coming up right here. And now he is trying to see. And he is starting where he left off in the C main. and Three wide. Three three wide for the third spot. Renee Angel gets pushed up a little bit now. Gets a little bit of bump. She's still fourth. But that outlock or that... uh, the 15 machine. That's Cody. Cody Contrell and that second, or Connor Carroll, excuse me. Connor Carroll in the 15 now. Spot. All the way went from fourth. Oh, that he's in third. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mikey Kaiser's in second. Connor Carroll is in that fourth sp- third spot. He come from deep in there after having heat race issues. Now he's trying to see if he can get a 28 in back up to speed. But out front, the 44 Woodard. Now as they work their way up off a of turn number four, a thousand dollar payday at the end of this one. Mikey Kaiser trying to reel in your leader. That's now about a good corner length ahead of him, about 25, 30 carts. Right under two-second disadvantage right now for Mikey Kaiser. Caleb Woodard out front. It's a commanding lead right now in this Yamaha division as he works his way off into turn number one. Renee Angel now coming up under some pressure now from behind. That's that 40 machine of Hollyfield. Kent Hollyfield now, he didn't get to run his heat race. He pulled off lap number one. He's worked his way up to the fourth spot. Angel now back to fifth. She got passed by the 40. And now at number 40, Machine of Hollyfield starting to set his sights on Carroll into one and two. Knows the tail for that third spot down the back straight away. One of the fastest go courts on the racetrack. Kent Hollyfield that last time by Woodard. Holds on to it. Woodard still running some very, very fast laps here in this 44 machine. A 13.782 that last time by. 13.732 this time by. Trying to pick up his quickest lap now that last time by. Woodard. Holds on to a commanding race lead. Mikey Kaiser sits second. Woodard in turn three and four on your speed shot camera right there coming across your front stretch. Down the front stretch into turn three or one and two. Commanding lead. I mean, what what are you thinking about when you're in that car and you know that it's that that comfortable and stuff for you? If it's me, I'm wondering when I'm messing up. Caleb Woodard has been in this spot Many, many times this evening, and he has done nothing but make it bigger and bigger and bigger leads. Coming up some he lap traffic. his way to a straightaway advantage over the rest of them as he starts to work on some lap traffic. Lap traffic, that's going to be Brandon Day in the OH. Brandon Day, you see him get, make hard contact with Mikey Kaiser in his heat race after a caution coming out down the back straightaway. Day and lets him by out of turn three and four. And Day, Day then spins. Goes around. See that action shot, hopefully stays at the top of the racetrack, gets it pulled back around, and white flag is out. Woodard down the back straight away with no pressure from behind in dominating fashion in the Yamaha division. He will take your win. Hands up. You can hear his crew down here very, <laughs> very excited. Crew down here definitely, yeah. definitely excited. That is three A main event wins for that young man right there. Absolutely, absolutely he awesome. He still doesn't know he's done. Do you want to do that? Oh, we're not doing it. This I want to get. Oh, okay.
Woodard pulling into victory lane right now. Three A main event wins for that young man already tonight. We're going to sit there. Chris is going to run down and see if we could get him up here and, and talk A main event wins. But holy cow, this young man, what a fantastic, fantastic job. It is absolutely, absolutely awesome to get this young man up here. What an incredible run. Half a track lead in every A main event that he has ran. It is absolutely awesome. Chris telling him they're going to go. They're going to go way in first. They're going to make sure that he passes tech. Once he passes tech, then uh, who are you calling for? Down there for the celebration. Check number three for this young man. Going to get some pictures and all that stuff. Like I said, they're going to tech him, get weighed in, make sure he passes tech. And we'll talk to Chris here in a second. But, man, what a uh, what an outstanding run for that young man right there. What did he – I know you went down there, told him to come up here. What did he say? The only thing he asked is, like, do you want my transponder? I said, no, <laughs> you do whatever you want with that. I just said, after you're done, he after says you, you want my lane. Hold on. You want my transponder? Yeah. I asked him, I said, do you got any more races today? He said, no. Do you want my transponder? I said, no, I don't need that thing. I said, after you're done with all this, just come up here and get a word with us, please. Dude, that so. is so awesome. I, uh, Wow. That is that is incredible, man. I'm so happy for that young man right there. Three Amen event wins. Good payday for that young man. Yeah. And where's really he good from? payday. I didn't get to ask him. I'll ask him when he comes up okay. here. We'll get to all that done. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath. No, I'm <laughs> fat. I had to run. <laughs> We didn't. It doesn't look like a long distance, but it felt like a long distance. <laughs> it's, a long, it's a long distance. I mean, you think about it. I mean, if it's a quarter mile track, I mean, you ran an eighth. Yeah. So you're good the, to go. The next two, I'll be getting the interviews too. So I think we got the junior UAS and the UAS, and that's it. As far as I know. The finishes who finished second and third. Um, finished second and third in that. We'll let you know right now. Chris is pulling that up. Mikey Kaiser finished second. Kent Hollyfield third. Renette Angel and Connie Carroll are going to be your top four. Katie Wilson rounds out your top five in that one. So, heck of a showing by the Yamahas here. Uh, started off very, very interesting. That race started off very interesting, but at the end, Caleb Woodard. I mean, what a dominating fashion right there. He's got two main event wins. He picked up a C main win as also, and that, that is – dominating fashion right there for the Yamaha huge dominating fashion I mean it, and I mean I could just only imagine what this young man is thinking right now um, I'm sure it's going to sink in we'll get him up here and uh, and talk to him and stuff and, and really get the the gifs of how you know I mean how comfortable that was yeah you know to be able to drive those I mean, two cars he, he, once he dropped once they dropped the rag and both of his betting event wins here tonight once they dropped the rag on it it was just over done there wasn't no like he didn't have to battle with nobody. He didn't have to, like, fight. The only, I mean, the worst, the hardest battle he had was the lap guards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. And he was smooth, too. I mean, yeah. you saw his crew member and stuff sitting here and, and kind of give him a little bit of directions on, you know, how far how far they were behind. or And he just, I mean, it was a comfortable I mean, Sunday show right there for him. you got to remember, these drivers, they don't have any kind of radio communication. They don't know how, I mean, for some of them, they can feel it. But most of them, it's just going off a the field. They don't know how far ahead they are. And I, so – I think he felt the force. Yeah, to be honest with you. I mean, Caleb, he he ran it as hard as he could that whole entire race, and he downed. And I think he's coming up here right now to get an interview with him. So, get these guy, get this guy up here and, and talk to him. See if we can get him to run. <laughs> he's probably exhausted. <laughs> oh, what a ton of fun it is to be up here. Did he? Did he really? Maybe he has to go to the bathroom. That is not where we're at, Caleb. <laughs> All right. Junior UAS getting ready to be on the grid. Thank you guys so very much for watching, man. It is absolutely a outstanding pleasure to be able to uh, to bring this to you in you guys' living room. 
or wherever you're watching, let us know again where you guys are. You know where you guys are watching from. Trevor Benton from North Carolina. Lynn, is it Leland? I just want to make sure. Does he have? Does he have to scale? Doesn't he have to scale? Yes, he does. So they're gonna go and and uh, we'll we'll get him up here real quick. <laughs> Here, we'll put a we'll put a headset on him, or or maybe can maybe you can hear us this way too. But we'll get you uh, we'll get you on the mic. Okay, Ooh, I ain't never done this. Never done no. this before. No, never. All you gotta do is talk on the mic. You're good. All right. Holy All right. cow, Caleb. Test. Oh, you're <laughs> good. Right, yeah, we're good. Yeah, you're good. Here, we'll turn him down just a little bit. <laughs> wow, Caleb, that was insane to watch the last three main events of you. It is by far probably the the coolest I've ever seen. You ran the two dual KTs, and then you ran your sedan, and then you ran it again. Don't even look like, I mean, you're barely sweating, but I think that was just the walk from out there to here. Dude, I am, I'm ready to go home and lay in bed. <laughs> i uh been sweating all day. I mean, it was the same deal in the heats, too, man. It's, uh. Yeah, they they, they really put it against you. Yeah, they stacked you up together. We've been, we've been thrashing all, your all day. B, all your heat races, all your B and C mains and A mains were like all right there together, back to back to back to back, and that can really take a toll on a driver. But people want to know, fashion, so. where are you from? So, Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. So, you um, take a little travel? Yeah, I was lucky. Uh, we got our stuff, drove here, and I got to fly. So, oh. so it looks on your jacket and stuff Hard like that. Done. Nebraska, uh, it says, uh, Cart Shootout 2022 yep. champion. Well, now, guess what? You are 22. It, it, is, it is the 2022 UAS Grand National champion in both the KT and you have what else? What, what Limited, Outlaw Limited Outlaws. And the Yamaha. Holy cow, division, kid. Man. And, yeah. and was from... Just my opinion, from the looks of it, was on his way to at least start in the A main. Yeah, we yeah. were we were getting there. We got a little unlucky. They we uh we had limited outlaw right before the USB that we made from the C, and uh, they went right as we got in the yeah, ground. Yeah, and I so. mean with the way that there you go, brother. The way that B main started <laughs> and stuff, man, it was yeah, gonna be interesting to see. Yeah, what happened? Did you just not? I mean, did they just go and, and they, left you? They said they were gonna wait for us, but uh, yeah, we got right on the ground. They were going green, and it was. So nice. is there a provisional because they did that? I mean, can you now start in the back of the A's? Be nice. <laughs> I'd be glad to talk to somebody about it. I mean, that it sucks that you got left on the grid, but I mean, to follow that up, that disappointment right there, to come back right on the racetrack, the next class out, to take that thousand dollar payday, man. You because they're be they're really, waiting really, really for other people that. too. So yeah. I mean, I would, I mean, realistically, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to take away from your interview, but I would have your crew down there and yeah. say, hey, look, what's the deal? Let's at least yeah. start in the back. Something to get into, definitely. But we. uh I really wanted to get the Yamaha win. We were leading points and everything coming into this. So you see that uh, belt? Big. You see that belt you're getting? Oh, I wanted it so bad. I saw it on Facebook <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I got to get that." Yeah. Matt, Matt Green, well, Seth. You come down here, man, and you got it. Yeah. Uh, this what you come here to first get. First year so. doing this, so we are very happy. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, man. You're live on Dirt 360 TV on Facebook. You can go back and watch it any time, man. It is absolutely a pleasure to have you up here. So, from a driver's standpoint, do you know how far ahead you were? Because that Yamaha deal, you were. Gone. I mean, you're half a track. I had, no, I had no idea. I thought someone was right behind me. The whole <laughs> I mean, time, to be <laughs> clearly running the duels and stuff. And in, uh, I mean, it's like you put overdrive in and you just kick back and like, okay, cool. Sunday drive. <laughs> I mean, we were watching you pass the the trucks and, and cars on the back stretch. I mean, you had to be doing 75, 80 mile an hour. Yeah, it was a little bit of a handle there. I had to hold on to a lot in that day. <laughs> how's your How's your neck feel? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about that. I mean, the yeah. G-forces and stuff here, people don't get it. I mean, the camera really doesn't show the the impact on the corner speed yeah. and the straightaway speed. I mean, we got, you know, I mean, if you come over here, you know, we've got your oh, yeah. your turn three and four. And then, of course, we got your main camera. But, I mean, I, it doesn't jiff. But as a driver and stuff, you know, how does, I mean, how does that feel? I mean, you're going from one race to another to another to another. I mean, back to back to back. Yeah. It, do it, you feel it until afterwards, or do you feel it during the race? Probably about halfway during the races. Yeah. When yeah. it really starts to kill, but man, they had this track on kill. I mean, pretty pretty smooth around everywhere, and it uh, bit up hard. So yeah, it'll it'll take a toll on your neck if you don't have a. Is this neck is this strength. your first time here at Georgia? <laughs> yes, never even been in the South. Yeah. So, oh wow. Yeah. Well, Midwest this is, guy. This is a lot different than a lot of I know a yeah. lot of the races you're used to, man. Yeah, it's a neat uh, neat but place. You come out here, you done it in dominating fashion. You can hear our junior U.S. is firing yes, up. Yep. So. Uh, well, big well, thank you for coming up here and having a word with us. Uh, before you go, thank all your sponsors. Yes, sir. Thanks, Mom. Love you. But I would like to thank uh, Rick Sullivan, uh, Chris Berkey, Kevin Berkey, Todd Wolf, and, and my dad for all this. So, Oh, man, congrats on the big wins. Congrats on both main events. Go wins. get scaled. Go get yeah. your money. Yep. Go home. Good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to you after a bit. See you, brother. 
Thank you. All right. Wow. We are ready to go for your junior UAS main event. That young man is stoked. Never been to the South before. Comes back in and leaves in a dominating fashion. Yeah. I mean, that, is, wins, that is incredible. Two, and was on his way to at least, I'm telling you. If oh, he we already have left, a spin. We already have a spin over there in turn two. Jeez. Did, did, <laughs> oh, let's see but if they let's let's see if they let him fire. They haven't taken the green that, yet. I think is the They'll, double zero. No, the double zero is down at the bottom. Who is who is that? That's going to be, be the, the eighty-seven. No, fifty-seven. No, that's the twenty-seven. The fifty-seven. That's going to be Seth Green. I think it's Seth Green. No, that's Seth Green right over there. Yeah. Yeah. So he is not get, having a, a good day. weekend. He's had a rough day. Uh, yeah, that poor young man. Yeah. Uh, just. I mean, I'm sure his dad, I mean, they have been working their butt off, putting this show together and everything, and now just to have the luck they've had, it's, it's kind of disheartening. But, I mean, he has put on a heck of a show here this weekend, bringing the U.S. Grand Nationals to Georgia Cardi Complex, the Carolina UAS. Look who's all starting in the front. Yep. Allie Young, your only your closer to the 27 of Tyler Rose. That is two young two ladies starting front on row. the front row. Now, you cannot Seth tell me that Simon these young C. ladies aren't and fast. And Bryce Overton going to be your field? I think Bryce Overton actually is sitting in the third spot right now. So I'm going to try to see if we can get them bunched up. Five cars to battle it out here for the Junior Unloaded All-Star main event. And we are green flag racing for the 2022 Junior AS Grand Nationals. Banging fenders into turn number one as Bryce Overton trying to make his move on Allie Young. But Allie Young going to hold on to it. Here comes Simon C to the inside for that second spot. Simon C takes over that second spot. Now going into turn three and four. That puts Allie back one spot down the front stretch. Allie out front right now holding on to it. Simon C, Bryce Overton with your top three down the back straightaway. That's <laughs> Allie, Allie's still your leader. Simon C trying to get up on the back bump rubber. Got a good run coming down the front stretch now. A lot of speed, that fast lap of the race, that last time by by the number three is Simon C. But the thing is going to be, can it hold that speed this whole entire race? Allie Young could be starting off slow, trying to pick up her pace slowly, but she's got Simon C breathing down her neck right now. Wait until those tires come in, and I'll tell you what, Simon C has to make that move here within the next couple laps because Allie, we've watched her on long runs, being extremely dominant, and that car gets faster and faster. You can see it. A good run off of turn number two is Simon C with a full set in one and two now. Trying to track down your race leader. C catches that draft on the 15 machine up off of turn number four. Now nose to tail for the race lead here in your junior UAS division. Little bit of wiggle right there coming out of turn four. That'll let C be right on the back bumper. Now C has a little bit of wiggle out of turn one C. and two. That puts him back into the cart length. See if he can pitch that thing off in there like a late model. Trying to run down <laughs> your leader. Allie Young, Allie Young now starting to get spread out a little bit. That 15 has finally set down. C slid his tires, and it's really done a lot of damage to it as they work their way up off a of turn number four. Simon C trying to track down Allie Young in a turn number one. Tyler Rose now having a little bit of issue. She's going to be the one car that goes a lap down this time around going into turn oh, three and four. She's oh, right in front of the leaders. Big time. The leaders and stuff that is are pushing bring. her up. Now, now Simon, Simon C to the inside. C look for the advantage. Does he slip up? No, he no. doesn't. Holds on to it now. Simon C out front. Tyler Rose cost Allie Young big time right there. The lapper. Now Allie Young going to have to play catch up, as you can see here, with a big slide off of turn number four. Going into turn one and two down the back stretch. C now with a little bit of wiggle, but that doesn't give him any advantage over Allie. Allie now tries to come up. Halfway down in this main event. That's going to be 10 laps in the book. 10 laps to go. Simon C holding on for dear life to that three machine down the back straightaway. Alley starting to close in and going into turn three and four. Now what was an eight car link? Now is down to a two car link now. One lap to deal with. That's going to be the 57 of Seth Green into turn number one. C knows he's got Alley Young beating on the back bumper of that one. Now he gets a little bit of daylight between him and that second place of Young. Young through three and four trying to track down your leader. Seth Green, right in front of your leaders, trying to get him up out of the way. Simon C now works with a little bit better than Allie Young had earlier in this one. Now he's going to come to that first spot. Seth Green going to lock down. Here comes Allie Young trying to track down your race leader. I know that the, the crew down there on Allie Young stuff is hot, but now it's going to happen again. Allie Young with a big send off in the three and four. She ain't lifting no more. Now nose to tail for your lead. 
C to the bottom of the racetrack. Young's going to make contact. C's going to go around. Ali Lung, Yeti leader. Now the caution flag, flag is out. Fly. So it's going to be interesting to see. Is Simon C your caution? Or is Tyler Rose your caution? So Tyler Rose pulls hers to the infield. And now we have two carts, and one of them's a lap down. So Simon C should technically go right back to the back bumper of that 15 machine of Ali Young. So Tough break for Simon C. He's not even going to get the start racing back underway. The battle in for your lead now. And it's going to be Allie Young. Only two of them. And Seth Green's a lap down. So I, the way I see it, I mean, Seth Green, unless he can get his lap back from Allie Young, this, this is over. This is going to be Allie Hey, sorry about that, guys. We had a PC issue. It was uh, starting to um, uh, starting to freeze. So, I mean, Ali, there's only two left out there. So, Ali was your A main event winner. We're going to go down there and see. I want to go down there and get a word with all our top three from the Junior UAS division. Sorry about that issue on the live stream. We'll do it from that. Just film. Chris going down there right now, and we're going to uh, get a word with Miss Allie. Your junior, junior UAS Grand National winner. You want to get a word with the top three? Just Allie. Uh, just Allie. Allie up on that podium. Seth Green, second. Allie looks beat. She is, she is, looks, looks a little worn out down there. Here and have a word with her as we get, as you can see, the unlimited all stars starting to make their way. We'll get Chris a little bit closer and stuff so we can get that mic uh, working just a little bit better and stuff. We'll get Allie to come up here. Wow, Chris, it is uh, inc what an incredible race and stuff that was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was definitely an interesting one. Uh, they had a lot of, lot of issues. Simon C taking the lead and then getting it right back to Allie Young and then getting spun out and hitting the fence over there off of turn one and two. And uh, Allie Young ended up taking the win. Seth Green going to be second in that one, followed by Simon C. After even not even finishing that one, Seth Green went a lap down and still come out with that second place finish. Just incredible, getting some pictures and stuff down there, Chris. You can just tell that she is just she's getting some hugs all the way around. She's getting some pictures and stuff. You can just tell that she's just been beat tonight. Trying to get as many pictures as she can with the family and everything. It's a big he thing here, that Junior U.S. Grand National win here in Georgia Carding Complex uh, for the 2022 U.S. Grand National. I want to step down here real quick and get her to walk over here just a little bit closer to the camera so we can see her and get an interview with her here shortly. I know she's probably got a lot to talk about after that uh, exciting main event right there. <laughs> Chris, as, as, as Chris goes down there and talks to her and gets her to come up, <laughs> Now 
Allie's going to hand off her check there real quick. We'll zoom in on her, and, and Chris is going to get a word. I think, Chris, I think she's just showing off her muscles right there. Do you see that? Just gra grab the interview reel real quick, and we'll get her to scale. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll grab the dropper interview real quick. Allie, uh, you talk about how much you're sweating right now. It is so hot down here in Georgia. I'm mean, sure after that long main event right there. Uh, but – all the sweat, all the tears. The whole entire season was worth it to pick up the Grand National win, wasn't it? Oh, yes, most definitely it was. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Just take me through your thoughts. I know it was an interesting battle between you and Simon. Uh, Y'all battled really, really hard for that main event win, and you ended up coming out on top. So just take me through them last five, six lap main event battling with him. Heck, it was, it was rough, I'll put it that way, because I was hanging in there, to be honest, and I'm pretty surprised that I honestly got down here and I qualified really good and I practiced really good. It's been an honor being down here, period, especially with Thomas and E-Racer and all of them. You know, it's been a blessing. You talked about qualifying good and practicing really good. You race really good, too. I mean, you picked up the big win. I mean, that's that's what you come here to do. You come here to win. Uh, just take me through all your sponsors one quick. We're getting ready to roll off with the Grand National UA Unlimited All-Star main event. Uh, but right now it's all about you picking up that junior UAS main event win. Just take me through all your sponsors and everything and who all you got to thank for getting you here, giving you a really, really fast piece. Heck, to be honest, I can't even remember a lot. All I know is E-Racer, thanks for the chassis and all that, and CRP for the motor. That's the only two I can honestly think of right now. Thank you to Dirt 360 for covering this whole entire weekend's main events. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> 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 thank you for having a word with me. Congrats on that big main event win. Congrats on our success here this weekend. I'll let you get down there and celebrate with the crew. I know you still got away and everything, but thank you again for coming down here. Anything else you want to add before we let you go? Uh, probably I lost a best friend, unfortunately. I hope I don't cry. If you do, it's understandable. Today was his funeral, and I missed it to come down here. And I know that he was with me tonight. And what was his name? Josh Davis. Well, this one right here is dedicated to Josh Davis. Uh, like, again, I know, very emotional victory. You're going to have me crying. <laughs> A very, very emotional victory here this weekend. Uh, that one right there is dedicated to Josh Davis. I know that's what you want to say. I'll, I'll say it she, for you. Let, so. her know, let her know that she's got us up here in the booth crying now. <laughs> yeah, you got everybody up there in the booth crying. So uh, <laughs> thank you for letting a, making a bunch of grown men cry before we get started with this UAS. Uh, I'm sure Josh is looking down on you. I'm sure he's super proud of your success. He understands the importance of this main event. So uh, thank you for coming down here and having a word with me. And that's it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Chris, man. Chris is going to work his way to the back of the pack. We're going to see if this uh, this long range, it, does, what, it looks short, but ladies and gentlemen, it's quite a ways down there. We'll see if some of this. Uh, uh, That's a long ways for me to walk, but I want to do it just for everybody viewing on Dirt 360 TV, getting all these drivers lined up. Got a lot of drivers. We'll see if they're ready to roll out. We'll we'll let them stop right there, and then uh, we'll we'll give them we'll give them the opportunity to stuff stop right there, Chris, and then work your way up here. But I'll tell you what, it is going to be one hell of a show, all the way from the back of the pack, all the way to the front. No doubt about this. This year, 2022, has all come down to this main event right here, the Grand Nationals here, George Carding Complex. 38 drivers tried to make this main event. 20 of the best unlimited all-star drivers are sitting right here on the front straightaway. See if we can get these guys bunched up a little bit more there for Try you, Chris, it. if you can. Going to be a crazy, crazy field, ladies and gentlemen. Evan C. up front. Had the fastest time today. Jonathan Cope in the four... The 42, JC, Evan C., Cole Hager, Jason Anderson, Thomas Duck Dacus, Robbie Yao, Ronnie Benton II, Matt Bird, Rick Hill, and Juan Grana is your top ten. Chris is going to run through the field all the way from the very back of the pack. That's going to be Ben Taft. He had a great show. He's all the way from New York. He hasn't been out here for quite a while. Decided to come out to the Grand Nationals, and he put on a show a little bit earlier and stuff and see if we can uh, – See if we could find Chris on the camera there. There he is. He's, I, I can see him up there. So right here, the 919, he made his way in through the B main. The 919 of Brett Messler, starting Focus. in the 19th Focus. spot. And the 22M will be Nick Moore. 
Number four right here. Starting in the 18th spot in the 66. 60. 63. Excuse me. Sorry. It'll be Nick Durham. Sorry in the 17th spot in the number one. You can see her dropping the go kart down right now. It'll be Katie Wilson. Starting in the 16th spot. Actually, I already looked at him. Sorry. With the 63. Of Starting in the 15th spot, the number two machine. Your former, your last year's big winner will be Rusty Rossmeyer. Starting in the 14th spot in the 23 machine right here will be Renee Angel. Hey, hey, Chris, Start. ask yeah. ask Rusty Rossmeyer how he feels from last year to this year. See if we can get a word with him real quick. Rusty, yeah, you had a big win last year. Uh, well, well, deep in the field, we'll, have you, we'll have you turn towards us just a little bit here. Here. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> so having to start a little bit deeper in the field this year around, man, how are you feeling about your shots going to this A-Main? feel good. We're going to try to stay out of trouble and be there at the end. That's going to be one big key to this A-Main coming up here. You've seen a little bit of carnage in some of these heat races and stuff, so it's going to be interesting to see who can work their way from the back of the pack. I mean, you, I mean you're a former Grand National champion, so you know you, what you got to do. Uh, good luck in this main event, and we'll see you hopefully in victory lane. All right, so the 23 of Renee Angel starting outside of row number seven in the 14th spot. Starting in the 13th spot, the 28 8. I'm on. Be right here. Starting in the 12th spot in the 01 machine, be Jared Rickman. Starting in the 11th spot, the 15 J of Justin Jones. Starting in the 10th spot on the 05 machine, will be Juan Greeno. Hey, Chris, listen to this. What was a 20-car field is now going to be a 21-car field. Guess who's in it? Caleb Woodard? Yep. I and love Mike, it. Mark Bartfield decided, you know what, because of the way, because I believe the way it is, we're going to actually talk to Mike Lane here real quick. Go ahead and go through your lineup, and then we'll talk to Woodard here okay. in a second. Starting 10th and 05 will be Juan Greeno. Starting in that ninth spot, the 44 of Rich Hill. Starting 8th. And the 545 will be Matt Bird. Starting in the seventh spot, the 55 of Ronnie Benton, the second. And starting in the sixth spot will be Robbie L. Robbie, you come over and have a Talk, a talk to Robbie TV. there real quick Robbie, because. <laughs> you're no stranger to these U.S. carts. You've done it all across the southeast. This is your home, closer to your home at least. How you feeling about your shots going to these main events? I feel pretty good, confident. Just it's going to be a 20-lap feature and, you know, it's, a lot could happen. I've seen, I've seen it all. I've seen carts break. I've seen carts lead on the first lap, and they're just gone. He's so smooth and confident there, I'm Chris. Take, take some time, and everybody can be consistent and just be safe. That's, that's all we can ask for. You feeling pretty confident in these shots going in? Go get you a look at the camera. <laughs> I'm feeling confident in the long run. I'm trying to go for a long run setup, but it's just anyone's game, really. Everybody here, they're, they're within hundreds to tenths of each other, so. It's going to be a good competitive race. Hey, you let him know that we appreciate him running that Dirt 360 TV sticker, too. Well, thank you so much for running the Dirt 360 TV sticker. Uh, Wait, did he take more. it off? <gasps> <gasps> Robbie. Gasp. <laughs> but thank you for running it, man. Uh, good luck in these main events. I know you, you're just getting focused, getting ready in game mode. So I'll let, thank you for taking a word with me, man. No problem. Thank you. All right, that's starting sixth, starting fifth spot, the 15 JR, Thomas Dacus. Thomas, you're rolling off P number f P5. Uh, you got a lot of speed in this 15 cart. Uh, Hallie Young just picked up that big win. How are you feeling about your shots going to these main events? Well, we're hitting the tires right now, and I feel like we got a pretty good shot at least to move up a couple spots, maybe even win it. Well, man, just uh, how, how where are you from? I'm from just outside of Memphis. So how long will it take you to get here? About seven and a half, eight hours. Not bad. That's one of the shorter. I oh, had yeah, to say, yeah. that's one of the shorter <laughs> races here this, this weekend, man. But uh, you got just take me through your sponsors. I mean. That fifth Spartan spot is a is a no slouch. Eraser Carts and Out Outcasts, the Eraser Carts, they do way more for me than I could ever appreciate. Uh, RBM, OH Hendrix, RBM, we got a guy in the trailer doing all our tires this weekend so we can run all these classes. XRG always making me look good, Gambler, um, just everybody. Man, there's a lot of them. Rusty Sagan, he builds the motors. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even go around in circles. <laughs> well, man, it's, it's got me a lot of speed this weekend. I'll let you get into it. I know you're trying to get in game mode. So uh, good luck in these main events, and hopefully we'll be talking to you in Victory Lane coming up here shortly. Chris down there talking to the top ten right now. It's absolutely 
Uh, We're doing a little bit of a driver's meeting right now, so we'll take a little bit of a break on the interviews. I'll do the top four here shortly. Uh, and this is a stacked top four I'm going <laughs> to get you, into. What do you think, Chris? Okay, I mean, th I really want to talk to uh, c to Cole and ask him maybe, you know, how his dad – how his dad and stuff was, um, you know, and all that. But how about you go down here to Mike Lane, or uh, sorry, uh, Mike Matt Green, right here on the front stretch, and Carolina UAS. The man that got us down here, Mr. Matt Green, Matt. Uh, <laughs> had to come talk to you. I know you look kind of disappointed. But, uh, man, a 36 strong in the Unlimited All-Stars here for the uh And how you feel about this main event coming up? I feel that there's going to be a lot of national points change right here, um, 36 of them. That's a big field on this track. It looks like there might be two grooves. Um, I just hope everybody's safe and uh, comes out at the end of it. Man, that's all you can ask for at an event like this. Uh, you put on a heck of an event this weekend. Thank you for bringing us down. Thank you for bringing me down. i got to thank you personally because if not, I wouldn't be standing here next to you. I'm so excited to get to watch these Unlimited All-Stars battle it out. I'm giving it a thumbs up, so I'm going to go here and get an interview with your top four qualifiers or top four starters. And, uh, man, get ready to watch some of the baddest UAS come by ready to battle on one of the baddest racetracks I've seen all year. This place has got a lot of bite in it. But, but thank you for having a word with me, and uh, we'll talk to you later. That was all right, now to the fourth spot. The number 12 of Justin, Jason Anderson, excuse me. Jason, you're sitting second outside row. You got a really good car in front of you, man. Have you made the right adjustments? You feel like you make the right adjustments to get in for this, to park in a victory lane? I hope so. That's, that's about all I can say. <laughs> I know you, you focused on racing, man. Anything you want to add? Anybody you want to thank before we get going here? Uh, Steven Gleason for this PK250. My brother for tires. Uh, Mark Belt Clutches. All right, before Cole gets his helmet on, thank you, Jason, for having a word with me. Good luck in this main event. Cole, sorry, before you get strapped in and everything, I just want to get a word with you. Cole, uh, you sitting here third. Um, how you feeling about your shots going in this day, man? I don't know how I feel, man. I'm just going to drive my race, and hopefully it goes well. Ask him if it's I better understand. than asphalt. Is it better than asphalt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> he said he don't know. So <laughs> Let him know uh, that I asked him, too. <laughs> uh, Josh wanted me to let you know that he asked that. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got a really fast. You had a really fast piece here this weekend. I know your dad's had trouble with his stuff, uh, but that means all the focus is on you now. Um, anybody you want to thank before you get going to this main event? All my family members and all the sponsors that help us get here. Very short, sweet, and to the point. He's in game mode. He's ready to go. Uh, I'll let you get to it, man. I'll let you get helmet on, get suited up. Thank you for having a word with me. And outside, the top two, row number one, the top two. He's had a ton of speed here at the. Road to the Grand Nationals this weekend here. I mean, and you're starting outside row number one. Evan, how are you feeling? Uh, I mean, you know, definitely having the speed and showed it all day. Just, uh, you know, got to put the whole 25 laps together and, you know, be there at the end. And, you know, hopefully everything works out for us. A 12.60 in qualifying. Man, that's, that's a blister in lap here at Georgia Carding Complex. Uh, who do you got to thank for giving you a really fast 33 here this weekend? Uh, yeah, just my mom and dad. You know, whole family and uh, everybody else came with us to the track and helped us out. And, uh, you know, obviously Ultramax, Chuck Dill, everybody over there. And, uh, you know, just hopefully we can get this done. Well, he's ready to get it done. He's sitting here ready to get in the go-kart. Evan, thank you for having a word with me. I'll let you get ready. I know you're ready to go. Um, and good luck. And the final man. The pole the, sitter. The 42. The fastest man here this weekend. He doesn't even he have his helmet the, on. You see that? The dash went. Oh, he's just he's <laughs> co full comic collector right now. Jonathan Cope. Jonathan, you have a really fast piece. You picked up the dash win. Starting you on the pole now for this stacked main event. There's a big field coming down through there. How are you feeling about your shots? Pretty good. I'd like to thank Bill Machen for the opportunity. Bill and Michael, they worked hard on it. I'd actually never sat in it until this morning. So it's, it worked out pretty good. Ask him about the sunshine. <laughs> pretty good so far. Ask him about the sunshine, if, that, if that's going to be a factor being on that front row. You think, you think that, that sunshine is beating down on us right now, man? Uh, sitting here, ready to go. I mean, do you think that's going to be a big big thing before you get going into turn one? I hope. I hope my tires aren't losing stagger right now, sitting here this long. <laughs> well, man, we've got to well, put on a show for all, everybody <laughs> on Dirt 360 TV. So uh, just thank everybody who you got to thank before we get going, and we'll let you get in it. Bill, Michael Meacham, they've, it's their cart. Uh, my wife, my kids, everyone that's supported me over the years, been doing this a long time. Man, and this, that experience is showing right here. You're sitting on pole for the Unlimited All-Star Grand Nationals, the biggest race of the year for them. So uh, good luck. Thank you for having a word with me. And I'm going to get started. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Chris, down there on the 
on on the grid, man. It's absolutely a pleasure to have him. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for Chris Williams, we'll get all these guys strapped in to their carts and get ready. Chris, it is uh, it's go time, man. I'm just down here holding up the show. I don't want to <laughs> run my mouth too much. No, you're, you're good to go. Hey, it's, it's all good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, thank you guys so very much for sticking with us. We had a little PC problem. Uh, apparently, we uh, need to run another fan. A um, couple things locked up or whatever, but you did not miss one bit of the UAS Grand Nationals and stuff. Uh, it was the last two laps of the Junior UAS is when it decided it wanted to uh, kick off. We got it all fixed and stuff now. Everything is great, and it's going to be an outstanding race for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and I can't believe we are here again Right here at GKK, another 2000 or another UAS Grand Nationals is going to be in the books here shortly. You got 21. Usually it's 20 racers, but now 21. And the young man that we had up here a little bit earlier, Mr. Woodward, he is starting in the back. He's got, he's got some competition up there, but does running in the back mean that it's going to be better for him? Because he's going to sit there and see the carnage, possibly carnage, out of chaos corner i mean he he gets to to kind of save his stuff the first few laps yes he does that top five top eight they're going to be gun ho going into turn one and then everybody in between them he's just got to avoid wrecks that's the biggest thing he's got to worry about sorry i had to take a breath no <laughs> you're good again fat I had to walk up steps I had to walk all the way down that field um but man they 21 of the best unlimited all-star drivers in the country ready to battle it out Go ahead. And we're 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 gonna get Chris. We're gonna get Chris Sorry. some. Uh, no, that's right there in that cooler. We're gonna get Chris some uh, liquid, real quick because uh, we don't want to be parched and stuff up here. But it is going to be in an incredible race. Mr. Mike Lane, you see him right down there where it says the official shirt. We'll see if we can get Mike to wave to us. Mike, wave to the camera. There he is, right there, Mike Lane. is going to be outstanding. And ladies and gentlemen, you're watching it right here on Dirt 360 TV. Guess what time it is? It's go time. It is go time. It is that time is of the night. Time. I mean, listen to that sound. How about right we crank there. it up a little bit, right? Crank it up right now. Let's do it. Not even get it going yet. That is the sound. As of John my Travolta would say, <laughs> I got chills. And I did. Multiplying. I got goosebumps, man. I'm so excited for this. 20 laps of the baddest people to ever set in an All Star. It it's is gonna be 21 strong. 21 strong. 20 laps. This is this is for everything. This is it. I mean, they're <laughs> they're coming around the track. Chaos. And, and Chaos Corner. The view you're about to see them from. Chaos Corner. You see the, the crankers. You see the wagon. <laughs> that is what is going to make or break somebody here. Is we already got issues. Saw a couple of them in the back of the pack now. We got one dead in the water down to the bottom. That's, that's, Rusty, out that's Rusty Rossmeyer up on the high side. Well, we got two of them parked in one and, two, and three and four now. Trying to get them spun back around, get them lined back up. And the fans have started to fill the grandstands here at Georgia Carding Complex. That has been empty all day, but now they know the show is here. Rusty Rossmeyer is climbing out of his cart over there in turn number two. Let me see if we can get, get an eye on, on it. One. That is your last year's defending points champion. What just happened to Rusty? Did he throw a chain? And then look at you have the outcast, the 15. I think that's the 15, Jaya Jones. We is just talked to him, too. Yeah. Rossmeyer, is he pulling it in? The defending champion of. He is pulling it in. No. Tough break all the way. All that so drive. Last all that journey. Just to have. Last year's UAS Grand National Champion of Chris Hager doesn't even make the field. Doesn't even doesn't even race. Breaks in practice. Rusty Rossmeyer, your defending points champion of last year, doesn't even make it a half a lap. And now didn't even get he's a green out. Flag. Like he made it under pace lap and had an issue in three and four. This is this is what I'm talking about. The gremlins. You're sitting next to you're sitting next to a bomb sometimes, the, and, and it, it shows as we get the one to go signal. The John, gremlins just came out, and they started with 
You're last year's champion. Like last year, two champions. Like, I mean, we've seen a lot with the thing. I mean, even even not getting to start the, the B main with Woodard. I mean, he now, he got lucky. He didn't yeah, have he to did. run a B main, so he still gets to start this A main. So we're 21, now we're going to be 19 strong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's crank it up. Crank Coming it up out of turn three and four. One. Well, it sure wasn't Chaos Corner, yeah. but it sure was turn one and two right underneath our flag stand. Lord, it, we crank it up and it's complete <laughs> carnage. Seven. Going into turn number one. Seven carts. See that 15? I'm pretty sure that's Jones. That's Jr. Jones again. Renee, Renee, here. Angel, Renee Angel's part of it. Renee Angel, Katie Will. I mean, there's the 119. So Katie's in it. You can see a lot of the crew members trying to get down here, trying to get. This go now, back on the race now track. remember, if you stall it, if you stall that motor, you are done. Yeah. You are done. You cannot restart. That's why you see the number 95 or the 05. Is it 95 or 05? 05. That's 05. Zero five one. Making sure that that motor does not stop. Because per UAS Grand National Rules, if that motor stops, you're done. You're not going to refire. So I think everybody, oh, man. No. No. A familiar place with him, but this is not where he wanted to be part after the Unlimited All-Star Grand Nationals. He's looking at a chain. Tough break for the 44. Unbelievable, the, the Gremlins. Well, well we started with 21. Now we're down to 19. I think we're down to like 17 now. 17? Or no, it'll be 18. We lost three. No, we're down to 19. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 19. 19, sir. So. Ross Meyer. Ross he went Meyer. out. Oh, the Outcast car it, fired back up. That's what Outcast, confused. yeah. Okay. Sorry. So Jones got fired back up. He's back in his spot. Dacus. Oh, my gosh. Damn, we, we hadn't even made a lap yet. No. Like, I, I'm like, I got anxiety. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> And we're green flag into turn number one. Jonathan Cope going to lead him down the back straightaway. Cope shot out of a cannon off of turn number two. Everybody else makes it through turn one and two clean. Now we got to get through three and four to get one lap in the books. Now the battle's on for that third second spot. Simon C. Cole Hager trying to make that move. The asphalt man trying to see if he can't conquer the dirt here at Georgia Carding Complex. Up off of turn number two. Now we got Spun one. Over That's there. Robbie Yao. Robbie Yao spun down the back stretch. Robbie Yao. He talked about it. He said he's seen go-karts just disappear lap one, and he just disappeared into a cloud of dust right there at Georgia Karting Complex. Tough break for the 12 of Robbie Yao. So now, that's going to be the 42 machine of Jonathan Cope, your leader. Sock and Evan C. Cole Hager, Justin Anderson, or Jason Anderson, excuse me. Top four have not changed. Then it's going to be the 15 machine of Thomas Dacus. Then after that, it's going to be the 55 of Benton. So Robbie going to have to drop to the tail of the field. But he still has a lot of laps to make up. That 20, 19 carts. 19 carts goes to the back of the pack. No, he's trying. He's trying to get up there a little bit. No, he is going to fall into the back of the pack. He's slowly letting them by. But your leader, John the Cope, Evan C. They haven't really made one lap. No, so the front, the top four have not changed. The first one to change will be Robbie Yao after he was the caution. So. He had to go back to the pack, so Robbie Yell is going to be the all on one out of this one. So it's going to be John LeCope, Evan C., Cole Hager, Justin, Jason Anderson, Thomas Dake is your top five. Ronnie Benton, Matt Bird, Rich Hill, Juan Green on Jared Rittman, your top ten. And we're green flag racing as Evan C.'s got company. Hager tries to make a move to the bottom of the racetrack, but can't quite get there now. C. going to get a little bit of a breathing room between him and that third place driver. 
But out front, Jonathan Cope up off a of turn number four. That's going to be two last in the book for Jonathan Cope now. We're trying to get the rest of them settled through the line. Up off a of turn number four, Ronnie Ben starting to put the pressure on that 15 machine of Thomas Dacus. In a three and four, pretty much knows the tail for that four spot. Closest battle farthest up on the racetrack. But it's Jonathan Cope out front. Fast flat with a race so far on that number 42 machine of Jonathan Cope with 12, 995 for Cope. But CFC's got the long run speed in it. The ball was turned up and down the back straightaway. The 42 of Cope. No pressure from behind as the battle starting to heat oh, up. Oh, big Benton. incident down there going into turn three and four. Jake they put a little bit of crowd on Benton now. It's sitting Benton up the racetrack and Benton just trying to find his way back in line. Ronnie Benton going to get Ronnie spun Benton's in front of the field. Ronnie Benton gets spun. No caution. Want to keep this one green flag racing as he rolls right in front of the, your two leaders. Oh, man. Issues on Cope. Cope. Cope's got problems. I think he checked up for the caution. Huge smoke out of Cope, but I, yeah, I think what you're talking about is that he just checked up. Now the 05 is spun over there in turn one and two. But Cope, man, just stopped. Evan C blew by him like his doors were being about blown off. I don't know if he heard caution on the race receiver, if he seen the corner worker waving the flag or what it was, but Jonathan Cope, the leader, checks up big time, and Evan C slows past him. That's going to be Juan Drino down there in three and four. With the caution on him, so trying to get it rounded out. Jonathan Cope, Evan C, Cole Hager, Jason Anderson, Thomas Dacus. Now your top five. Matt Bird, Rich Hill, Justin Jones, Ronnie Benton, Juan Greeno was in 10th, and now Jerry Rickman going to come up to that 10th spot. So trying to get a bunch back up. I think we're going to go green flag this next time by. Flagman trying to get the word from all your competitors, all your crew members over there in the tower, the UAS Grand National officials. We're one lap before we go back. Green flag racing five laps in the books. Jonathan Cope has been the dominant one so far. Jonathan Cope patting the motor down, making sure it's all right before we go back green flag racing. What do you What do you think, Chris? Think we should do it again? Oh, yes. You guys ready oh, yes. to crank Every it time. up? Let's crank it up. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Out of turn number four. Evan C. I don't know what that was about, but Renee Angel's over there in turn. Heard one other driver. Her, that was that was Hall. That was Hall and Renee Angel. Hall got out of his car, ripped off a piece of piece of his front uh, front nose. Tempers are already flying here. A lot of beating and banging so far in this one. And the one that's interesting is Jonathan Cope. He come by a second ago, beating on the top of the motor. I don't know if there's an issue with that one or if he is just fired up, ready to get back at it. So it's going to be John Cope, your leader. Renee Angel actually pulls off out the back, off the back stretch there. So she's Tough out. That's another her. Northwestern. Tough break for them. So Cope, Kevin C, Cole Hager, your top three. Jason Anderson, and it's going to be Thomas Dacus, your top five. As we get ready to go back green flag racing. Let's crank it up this time around. Let's try this one more time. wreck over here. That's, that is a lot of spun out go-karts. I see the 01 of Jared Rickman. The 554. Huge carnage over there. Huge carnage in turn number one. Let's see if we can get a replay that of that here real entire, quick. That whole entire restart was carnage. The 15 of Dacus, he was spun coming off of four. I don't know if his stuff just didn't fire or what the deal is. But he spun off of four, and you can see him parked over there. Yeah, you can see it again. And it just wads up the whole entire field. 
it's just the start from the word go, just tough break for all those drivers. One more time, you see Dacus go around at the bottom of the infield. And then you see about five other ones spin out going into three and four, or one and two, excuse me. So I don't know how they're going to line this one up. Should go back to that last completed lap. It depends on who they. Just crazy. What a. A 12 machine to fix it. Anderson, he was in that four spot. So a big shakeup. Oh, man. Dacus in the infield. Trying to get his way back up, but I think he's part of the caution. Dacus gets put in the infield, and he come to a stop. Well, we knew that uh, things are gonna things are gonna get crazy. It, it has. <laughs> it, it it definitely has issues. Somebody had the forty two stopped. Look up the 42 stop at the top of the racetrack. Somebody adjusting on that one. So let's see. I can't keep up with the carnage that's going on right now. It's so much stuff going on. The 42 of John the Cubs got to go to the back. No. Yes. He had somebody. I look up. He had somebody working on his stuff off of turn number four. So that, that now they're making him go to the back of the pack. So that's Evan that C. Was the biggest gift Evan C could have got this weekend. And Cole Hager now. Can I see that? No. Yeah. So now it's going to be Evan C. Cole Hager. Paul big, now is it on on the inside of the train track? What was that on? about? Well, tempers are flaring. Hall is. Uh, Hill is trying to get to the, oh, he jumped wow. that berm, and now he's trying to get to the 15 machine. 15 machine's pulling up. That's Jones. I think that's Dacus. That's Dacus. Oh, that's right. I think that's that was at four. He was like four. So now Hill, I think Dacus got ran to the, okay. I think, <laughs> I've, I think I've deciphered it. Dacus got hit in the infield by Hill. Dacus took his, took his revenge right there and sent Hill to the infield. I didn't see it. I'm gotcha. just assuming that's what happened. Gotcha. So now. The top four is completely different than what it was. It's, it's Evan, C, Evan C, Cole, Cole Hager, Hager, that 44 of Rick Hill, the 01 of – that is the 01 of Jared Rickman. He started 12th. And then that 554 of Matt Burr. 545, excuse me, we're green flag racing in the turn number one. Keep an eye oh. on the 42. That is going to be the 05 of the 66 that's a, that's a 66 machine of Nick machine. Durham. And we're not going to stop. We are green flag racing still. And you can see the he frustration on Nick Durham's face. Mad. We He's talk like, about that. He just was parked in the infield, and the 12 of Robbie Yao now is four. Yep. He has worked his way back up to the fourth spot now. Robbie Yao trying to track down your race leaders down the back straightaway. But it's Evan C., Cole Hager, and that number 44 of Rick Hill, your top four up on the turn number four. Keep our eye on their leaders. Your top two, that's going to be Cole Hager and Evan C. And Evan C out front. Now keep an eye on that third spot. Battle starting to heat up. Rick Hill in the third spot, trying to start falling under pressure from Robbie Yao. Robbie Yao now, keep your eye on that 44 and that 12 machine. Robbie Yao now is having, having some momentum now coming up to the top three. Evan C starting to get in some lap traffic. That's going to be Ronnie Benton. Ronnie Bent trying to hold him off, trying to save him the lead lap. He cannot do it. Evan C, man, has been a, a dominating factor here in the South. We talked about Jonathan Cope had such a fast go-kart here this weekend. But motor issues played him in the A main now. And your second place, Hager to the bottom of the racetrack. Hager's broke now. Evan C now with a half a track lead going into turn one and two. Over the 44, Rick Hill, but he's got Robbie Yale trying to track him down. When you get a caution, it'll be... It'll be insane. See if we can. Oh, Robbie Yao, Evan. back around. Robbie Yao has spins down the back stretch. And he's going to park in the middle of the front back straightaway. We're going to keep caution. No, caution's not caution's out. Caution's going to fly. We have to throw caution. To oh, caution does fly. The corner works for waving the caution down there, so we're going to have to throw caution for that one. Wow. So, Evan C goes from a half a track lead to now Rick Hill in the 44. 
maybe next to him. I don't know. He's reaching over and adjusting on his. So you know, I've seen of. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've seen a lot of races and stuff, but a lot of these guys' front noses are, are a little, torn, a little yeah. torn up. Well, we've seen Rick Hill. Keep your eye on the, Evan C. That just passed us right there, going into turn one and two. That, that 33 is your machine. Rick Hill, the 44. Robbie Yao, who was there, is now not. I think he's going to be. It's going to be Matt Bird following him. Robbie trying to get back to this spot, but I don't know if he's going to be able to. Matt Bird and the 01 of Jared Rickman. Rickman was in that big accident up here off of turn number one. They still have Robbie as uh, running third. I think, though, he should go back to the back. He was the caution, technically. So, not unless they're not crediting him for the caution. So, as of right now, the 33 of Evan C., the 44 of Rick Hill, the 12 of Robbie Yao, and Matt Bird, that is your top four. Jared Rickman, your top five, and that's 0-1. They're going to let Robbie stay there. Robbie's going to be in the third spot when we go back green. Green flag will fly. Robbie Yao going to be in that third spot. Rick Hill going to be your leader. Evan C. Or Rick Hill going to be second. Evan C. going to be your leader. C. Look at the run. Straight away trying to see if he can hold off that hard charge in Rick Hill. Rick Hill comfortably in that second spot. Now Robbie Yao starting to put the pressure on him up off a of turn number two. Turn number four. We'll keep our eye on that second and third place. Because Evan C. right now is just starting to check out for the rest of the field. This is how dominant he was last time he was here in June. Yeah. He the drop of the rack. He's been one of the hardest to beat. John and Kobe, big issues on his. But now it's the maybe not the fastest, but who can last long? It's a 33 machine of Evan C. Five laps to go for that 33 as he works his way up off the turn for four. Watch Evan C. now go through three and four. We'll put him on the speed shot camera, and look how much wider he's going out of three and four than everybody else. He comes in low, goes up high. Now keep it, watch, everybody runs low. Everybody's everybody keeps it pinned down, but that small motor, he can do that. He can get that big arc and try to try to keep it pointed straight. And them other guys, they're trying to get it to the front, like just trying to get to the front straightaway as fast Oh, as now possible. the 44 spins over there. Robbie gave him a shot down the no, back straightaway. No, no, he didn't. No, Robbie didn't touch him at all. I looked up and Robbie looked like, he, oh, uh, Christy Wilson's gonna go around. Christy. No, he was starting to pull into the, the pits anyways. Robbie just happened to be issues. underneath him. Hey, Wilson will be right in front of that second place driver as they come around. Evan C, your 33, is now a half a track lead. He's going, he's coming out of three and four while everybody else is going into three and four. He's in one and two. Everybody's coming out of three and four. He's got two laps to hold it off. All he's going to do is last these two laps, and he'll be good to go. Off of turn number four for the final time here. Checkered flag oh, checkered for Evan C on out. the front Evan stretch. Evan C picks up the Grand National win. Evan C will be your 2022 UAS Grand National winner. Wow. And a dominating factor of Evan C. So He will stop here on the front stretch. We'll get some... Information, we'll send Chris back down there and get a word with him. As Chris walks on down there, Evan C is gonna get a big old congratulations and a big old fat check. Chris down there now. We'll get him all mic'd up here real quick. Get him on to uh, get him on the wireless. As Evan C. gets some hugs and congratulations and stuff from family members. As Chris walks down onto the track. Can you can you hear me? We can, can you hear, hear me in your headphones? Yeah, we can hear you now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let them get down there and get uh, get the Rick Lane pictures and stuff taken. You see Robbie Al, Matt Bird getting out of their cars, Evan C down here. I'll try to get Evan really over here real quick. See if we can get Robbie Yao and uh, maybe talk to him a little bit before we talk to Evan C and see if he'll talk about uh, that spin down the backstretch. And I know that he's talking to Bird right now a little bit about that and Robbie Al looks uh, looks a little sweaty. 
Bird taking off his helmet. Robbie Yao standing right there with him. I want to get an interview real quick with Matt Bird. Matt. Uh. Bring him up this way just a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Matt Bird to 545. Man, that was a, a, a very, very interesting main event right there. Uh, you come on with a third place finish. How you feeling about it right now? Um, very, very, very tired. Um, that was definitely uh, interesting for sure. Um, just want to give a, the good Lord um, thanks for, for giving me the opportunity to come do this. Um, thank Gold Speed USA for the awesome tires. Um, and, uh, you know, GKK for, for putting this race on. And uh, thank my brother for flying in from Ohio to help me out uh, this weekend. But uh, all in all, it, it, we, uh, we, we, we um, got lucky there. It just... Avoided all that carnage and uh, home, came home with third, so I'll take it. Man, you had had a little bit of carnage going off into turn one, lap number one, uh, a, a big melee going up in there. Did you did you feel like his shot was done with there, or did you just know you got to keep it going, got to stay in it? I mean, these unlimited all-star races, they're certainly crazy to say the least when it comes down to it. Man, just hanging out and just finishing third, uh, like I said, you got to be feeling happy about that. Yeah, I got lucky and actually made it through that first uh, wreck um, in, in one or two. So I was very lucky. Um, and it's just, you know, like I said, just actually trying to make it through the whole race without making a mistake because it was a very tricky track today. And uh, just got lucky. And uh, I'm, I'm very thankful for the opportunity and uh, come home third. Like you said, you thanked all. Everybody you got to thank, man. Uh, thank you for having a word with me. Congrats on the, the great <laughs> the great finish right there. I mean, can't shake you a stick at that. A third place finish here at the Grand Nationals here at Georgia Carter Complex. Um, how you feel about this racetrack? I mean, just take you all through your thoughts on this. It's definitely a different GK. Um, they definitely changed the figuration of the racetrack, so it's a little bit trickier. It's a little bit tighter, so you guys slow down a little bit more and uh, put a little more wheel into it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to come down here and and try something different. I've been here at GKK at Thanksgiving Thunder a few times and experienced that racetrack and, you know, actually come down here and experience this racetrack. So a little bit different configuration, but, uh, you know, just thankful for, the, for you know, actually being kind of in our home backyard back here, you know, down here. So I'm uh, just thankful that, we, you know, they was able to have this race and uh, how I finished. You happy that you didn't have to make that 40-hour trek or 24-hour trek that like you did last year and stuff, man? Uh, I don't have anything else to add. If you have anything to add, just let me know. Um, congrats on a strong third-place finish, and thank you for having a word with me. Thank Good you. job. All right, we'll come over and get Rob to come over and have a word with me. Rob. You can see Matt Burke's exhaustion. <laughs> He's happy this one's over with. And now on to someone else who had a very, very interesting main event, Robbie. Uh, an early race spin. Push you behind the eight ball a little bit, but man, it worked out good. I mean, coming home with a second place finish. Yeah, it uh, it definitely, definitely was a curveball. I was not expecting that, but you know, who knows what to expect when we had loose dirt and I'd be the one to hit it. But uh, you know, we, I basically have been in this situation. I know well, you know, just take your time. There's still 20 laps to go, so I was like, well, we'll just pick and choose whenever we get an opportunity. And luckily, we found our way up to I think fifth or sixth, and then finally made our way back up to third and. Just Lady Luck was on our side. <laughs> Man, that's all you – you going to the Holiday Classic this year? Um, I don't know what's in store for me for the Holiday Classic this year. Maybe, maybe not. I'm, I'm not 100% sure because after today's event, my carts are sold. Yeah, so that's going to be hard to go race without yeah, nothing to ride. Yeah, they're going to a new home. We, we got a new owner and a new sponsor, so he came on board, and they're going to a new home. Well, man – that's certainly a great way to come out. I mean, last ride on those go-karts, a strong second, a really, really strong second-place finish, man. Uh, just thank, thank all. Just tell me all you got to thank for giving you such a fast tw number 12 this weekend. The first, I want to thank the good Lord for, you know, providing everybody a safe race, everybody safe travels to get here, and just beautiful weather conditions. Uh, my wife for all the support she gives me, uh, her family, my family. Uh, I want to give a big shout-out to Joe Pimentel, the card owner, um, I couldn't have done this this year without him. He was my big, big, big support on getting to the tracks and having everything ready. Um, I'd like to thank Track Tac Tire Treatments. Oh, there's so many people. Uh, JP Carding, High Performance Carding, uh, C High Performance for all the ingenuity they put to the carts. Ultramax Racing Chassis. Um, I can go on and on forever, but man, I'm just, I'm just ecstatic to finish because I've never finished a Grand National. Well, man, I mean, the first one you actually finished, that's not one to stay. I mean, that was a 
was an insane race. To even finish that race was a feat right there. And, man, you come home with a strong, strong second-place finish. Nothing to nothing to be mad about coming home second in this one, that's for sure. Nah, but since I've been in this Grand Nationals run since 2010, that's, that's been, you know, finishing one's long overdue. Well, man, you've done a heck of a job here this weekend at Georgia Carding Complex. Uh, thank you for having a word with me, and uh, congrats on your good run. No problem. Let's see if we can get a word out of Evan. Yeah, I want to I make sure he talks. He uh, talked uh, to me pretty good a second ago. Evan definitely is uh, one of those talkers and stuff. I mean, he'll talk your ear off, but no, not really. We'll, we'll see if he can uh, see if he'll come over here and, and have a word. I know that he's going to sit there and uh, talk to a bunch of his uh, uh, crew members and his dad's right behind him and stuff. It's uh, absolutely, absolutely a fantastic job. A 12-6 was his time for qualifying. Qualified the top side. Back down there to track side with Chris. So, the man that we've been wanting to talk to, we got to work with Robbie, we got to work with Matt, and now we got to have a word with you, man. You come out on top of a very, very interesting main event. How are you feeling right now? Um, just take me through your mindset. Um, I mean, I'm just glad we were just able to, you know, finally, I think it's been since 2018 that we've just been able to put together a race and, you know, have nothing happen in it. And, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, glad that we've been able to get this twice now. You know, one in 20. One in 2018 has had bad luck every single year after that. Just stuff, stuff happening, and you know, I felt like this year if we did everything right, that we'd have a good shot. And you know, sure enough, you come down here in June, and and you had a dominating performance at the Road to the Grand Nationals. Did that have any effect on your mindset going in? Did you know you had a really good piece? Did it make you a little bit more nervous, <laughs> thinking that you had such a good showing in June that now if you didn't come out here and win this year, that of a that you're just happy to one? So. Um, I mean, I know that Road to the Grand Nationals really put a. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, we was fast in, in the that race, and you know they had a race here before we we won it also. So uh, I knew a lot of pressure is kind of on us that everybody was looking at us to set the bar, and uh, you know it's kind of a bad deal because you don't know how the track's going to be. It could be completely different. I mean, it was way different last night. So uh, you know it came around to uh, what we're used to today, and, you know, that, that definitely helped us out. And, uh, I mean, we just made fine adjustments on it for qualifying. And, you know, after that, it was kind of up to me. Well, man, you've done a heck of a job. Uh, before you go, I just thank all your sponsors. Thank everybody who gets here this weekend, man, and I'll let you get down there and celebrate. I know you're ecstatic to celebrate with your crew. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, mom, my dad, my brother, you know, whole family, and uh, everybody that comes through the track and has helped us out this year. And, uh, you know, obviously got to thank Chuck and Dill and Ultramax. We've been with them for – you know, since the late 90s, and, uh, you know, Sean Pittman over there also. Uh, Haskins Performance Products, uh, BRC Race Engines. Uh, that's the only motor uh, we've ran this year, and, uh, you know, just had to make fine adjustments on it and ran good for us every race. And, uh, you know, just got to thank God. And, you know, like I said, everybody just helped us out uh, this year. Well, man, thank you for having a world. Me. Congrats on the big win right there. Congrats on your Grand National win. And uh, I should go celebrate, man. Thank you. Wow, Chris, that was absolutely exciting down there on man, on the on the front stretch. It, I mean, you actually got Evan to actually talk. I mean, because he, you know, he's one of those you know that will talk your ear off. No, he's he's very shy. What a grand national that was, Chris. I, I can't thank you so very much, man. Being on the track side, being up here in the booth. What do you think? It's over. Man, that was one of the most interesting races I've ever been a part of. To see Robbie come from deep in the field, he had to come through a deep in the field a couple times. When he started like eight, spun out early, come from 18th to finish a strong second. I mean, the dominating performance Evan C. Did on right there. Uh, I mean, there ain't nothing else you can say about it. I mean, he just, I mean, he done what he came here to do. He had the same kind of performance in June. He knew what he had to do coming in here this weekend, and he done it. Uh, tough break for Jonathan Cope. Jonathan Cope had a really, really fast cart this weekend, and for him to end up on the other side of the fence, it really just shows how much, it doesn't matter how much work, and everything goes into this weekend. You still have those gremlins. Uh, but uh, that's all I got to say. I mean, you, I'm still kind of shaking from the finish and everything. So it's, it's, the, the crank, man, it's a, it was a wild race. It's all you can say about it. The crank it up part and everything else. And, and think about, you know, the 44. He goes out there, doesn't do the B main, right? And luck of the draw, they sit there and say, you know what? Instead of starting 20 of them, let's start 21. Because they did, you know, we talked about that and stuff earlier when he was up here in the booth. Talked about, hey, they man, they just left me. You know, that was the weirdest thing. I mean, they just left me and ran the B main. I could have went out. Um, 
and, and he either could have been in or could have been out. But that was a good thing. But, man, only making a couple laps and then stopping on the infield and having it break. What a disappointment. I mean, one. I mean, that's just, I mean, you go from the highest highs to the lowest lows. That's, that's the sport of go-kart racing. That's what's crazy about it. I mean, it doesn't matter what happens or what happens the race before. You're only as good as the last main event you run. And tough break for Caleb. Um, he had a really, really fast 44 every time he hit the racetrack. I think he had three different go-karts, two different go-karts, something like that, and they were all fast all weekend long. And just, I mean, he still, even if he didn't start the UAS main event, he still had a tremendous weekend. Like, I mean, he earned everything he done with the Yamaha feature, the limited outlaw feature. I mean, he he still had an amazing weekend to come all the way from Nebraska to first time seeing the Georgia Clay to adjusting to everything along those lines. And, I mean, really, really a great showing for him that ended on that note, but still, I mean, there ain't nothing to be frowning about. Off tail 2023, ladies and gentlemen, that is Chris Williams down there on the front stretch live with Dirt 360 TV. Can't thank him enough. We want to thank you guys so, so very much for watching here at Georgia Carter Complex. Well, that's 2022 UAS Grand National in the books. We want to thank everybody for watching, everybody for tuning in. For myself, Chris Williams, Bishop over there on the camera, doing all the guru stuff. Thank you so very much watching Dirt 360 TV, the coverage out here at Georgia Carding Complex, 2022 U.S. Grand Nationals. Till we see you again in Pennsylvania, Chris. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you for Dirt 360 TV for having me, man. What a great weekend here at Georgia Carding Complex. I can't wait for the next one. Let's do it. 2023 Pennsylvania, guys. We'll talk to you then. See ya.